Just just give up that whole seven thing because that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Wait, where do you even update the upcoming live vote? Oh, there it is. There. <laughs> Actually, I don't have access to the go live notification on the. On... <laughs> the pass it to his mom. <laughs> Root, root. <laughs> yeah, I don't even. I don't even have the ability to change it, David. To go live, to go live. I don't even. I. Current levels tonight, Aegon. Warning, this show is for adults, by adults, using adult language, role-playing adult situations and possible controversial topics. No situations or topic reflects the views of the Dungeon Master or the players in real life. You have been warned. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
You can upload maps, make character or villain profiles, timelines, update world lore, and much, much more. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm going to have to definitely sign up for... <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? People do that. Oh. Too. Hello. Hi. Well, welcome, welcome, to, welcome to our episode of uh, Sphinx's Tattooing. <laughs> just um, saying. Banter before the end. That's all. Hey, just, just want to say before we get going, we do not condone the tattooing of cat sphincters. No. Or or any sphincters. To be fair, that's just cats in general. I mean. <laughs> I mean, to you each do, their own, but I'm just going to say I'm not encouraging it. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> La Lava Falls, everyone dies. Campaign's over. I'm done. I'm out. Damn. You, you cross the line. You. Damn. I, I could make it funny, but I'm not going to. We're going to move on to me adults. Yes. yes. Good. Anyways, welcome, everybody. Welcome back <laughs> to the Royal Society and... Uh, Vow of the Keepers, episode 29. Yeah. Woot, uh, woot, woot, woot. It's going to be as old as I am. Uh, and as usual, uh, we will pass it over to our mistress of ceremony, our hostess with the mostess, our GM Kim. Hi, everybody. It's, yeah, it's a thing. Welcome to Vow of the Keepers. We are indeed on session 29. If you include the lost episode. We have our lost episode. Cool. Um, I'm having a... I, I mean, it, 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 it only makes sense we have a lost episode when we lost a character in that episode, too. So Yeah. Um, like every great show, we have a lost episode. Uh, yeah, it's like it's like Doctor Who. They lost like decades. Um, anyway, we before we get going with our session, as always, we remind everyone that we are proudly sponsored by World Anvil, which has everything that you need to start creating and building your world. You can sign up for free and get started right away at WorldAnvil.com. You can also join their Discord at the links that get auto posted over in chat. Um, they just finished summer camp a couple weeks ago. It was a ton of fun. Uh, December will be the next big writing challenge. They do little ones. It's, it's all world building. It's free writing and stuff. It's great. You should go check it out. Uh, um, and then we also extend our thanks to Roll20 for their generous support. They provide us with a pro account and some of the core books so that way I can show you battle maps and things when they get into the thick of it. And um, speaking of the thick of it, we are going to pick up where we left off last week, which is... Um, Lucy and Taro have scooped up Bella's lifeless body and are um, working on dragging her out of the pillar of fire and the, the temple that lies above it. Or kind of, yeah, we'll say above it. Um, in hopes oh. of getting her revived by a cleric if they can get their hands on one after um, her badge failed to do the job. And the remaining members of the group are sticking to the pillar to make sure that there's no sort of second attempt follow-up assault on the pillar to take down the three remaining shields that are protecting it at the moment. Uh, the first assault managed to get down seven. That's not an insignificant number. Mm -hmm. So um, we'll start to see kind of the fallout of all of that as we pick up where we left off. So... We're going to start with Lucy and Taro and their efforts to get them out of there and um, kind of shift back and forth a little bit, kind of see how things go. So what would you like to do as you, like, you can converse amongst yourselves as you drag Bella out of there. I'll work on kind of talking you through the temple as you're on your way back out of it a little bit. Um, 
Oh, well, uh, whatever. She's heavier than she looks. <laughs> well, thank you for helping me carrying her. I didn't expect anybody to uh, do so. Yes. Um, I well, would, I suppose we I would we'd definitely have... keep dead bodies away from your other companion. I... You know, I'm starting to get that idea. I really didn't expect Kinley to do that. I don't know what came over her. Must have been all the cultists lately. They're pretty... The unsavory sorts. Kind Name calling. Of... She feels bu she feels bullied. Perhaps. I, oh. I don't know. Not saying from personal experience, because no... Not once in my entire life have I ever been bullied. <coughs> it looks away awkwardly. Mm-hmm. That's fine. But yes, I suppose you could see them like bullies. <sighs> I'm glad you were all down there to uh, keep them from uh, popping all those uh, bubbles. <sighs> you really saved us from a catastrophe. <clears throat> sure. You keep calling them bubbles, but that has that was just a dome. They're barriers. Oh, you're talking Second. like what what is that thing protecting? Something very demonic from getting out. I suppose you've earned that piece of information from uh literally saving this city from Actually, I don't really know what would have happened if they would have all popped. I know that it's not pretty. Are you saying that with those bubbles down, that more of those creatures that we saw that attacked this lady here would be more readily available? Most probably, yes. And we don't want that. She kind of... <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> Fascinating. So they're kind of moving and moseying along. Yeah. So as you, um, with Bella's you know, body, you know, moved yourselves up the tunnel and then ascended the spiral ramp back up to the top level of the temple, you still hear the alarm that Dorian and Taro triggered on their way in um going off the burn burn klaxon sound of that alarm ringing out throughout uh, the building and out into the city calling for assistance and alerting people that there's an emergency you work your way out of kind of this area here to there as you pass by um Lucy, I do need you to make a constitution save. Yeah. Him, since you don't have heat protection like Taro does. Oh, 18! Wait, it's sent twice. Which one came first for y'all? 18. 18 came first. Okay. <laughs> can, I, can I stop and close the door? Because it seems irresponsible to leave, you know, lava out and about. Yeah, if you'd you like to, to take a second to do that, that'd be not a, not a yeah. terrible idea. I'm gonna set. I'm gonna set this this ironclad woman down and go over there and cl close up that door. Lucy will wait for you. Uh, yeah, in our <coughs> hurry, we didn't close that door, but whoever left that open did had the. Uh... Oh, that's <laughs> that's the talking stick guy that was with me. He thought it was a great idea to leave it open. I don't know. I don't know. Ah. Well, <laughs> but anyways, right. uh, do, do you have a, a plan on what you're going to do with this dead body? Or are you just going to like scream and shout for help or something when we get out there? No, I'm trying to, well, my first idea was going out and see if we could find a priest because with all the madness going around, there's bound to be one out and about. Tending to the wounded. 
If we uh, do not, we could try to head for the Fentalusia side of Umla and see if we can't find a priest of Lathenda over there. Or a paladin that knows. I'm going to tell you right now that a standard priest is not going to fix this problem. How do you know? Um, Tars puts his hand to her throat. Love you. No pulse. Takes much stronger healing to bring someone back with no pulse. So if you happen to have, you know, a high level Lathander priest on hand, that would probably be your best go to. Any, uh, I mean, <coughs> you're. I assume that finding a high, high enough priest could do it, but my other idea, which got dismissed, was requisition one of these portals they use to carry out merchandise and just go to the great temple in Fentaluja, which you're definitely bound to find more than the high level skilled priests but let me walk you through that process you're going to take a dead body through a portal to a different land so they're going to see a person holding a dead body coming out of a portal they're going to see a keeper and uh Depending where we pop up, they might recognize me, but <sighs> it's, right. it's an idea. Um, if you've got any better ideas, let's hear them. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to say not going to foreign land through a magical device with a dead person would probably be on the top of my list of not to do. I mean, they carry merchandise. What can go are wrong? You, are you going to you gonna claim this dead person as your merchandise? No. Okay. So what I what I'd say is we should probably I don't know. I've not been here long, but I'd say there is definitely <clears throat> a large temple around here, and that's probably where we should go first and yeah. request to see a priest. Yeah, that's probably a better idea than wondering about and going to the other side of the. A simple disciple City. will not nearly be enough to handle this. Yes. Well, okay. Would Lucy know where to... Well, there's probably a bunch of temples per districts, right? Out of character? Uh, yes, there's... A, this is sort of a temple-ish <laughs> district. There's a few kind of on flanking the temple that you're in on either side. The power plant is surrounded by a sort of a temple district. Um, none of them would can Lucy... take over this one for other reasons. Mm, would Lucy <laughs> know which one to go towards to find it? Well, probably not. Uh, well, would she know what to look for? To look where the priests of, uh, proper level for the task at hand? Um, you've spent... <laughs> a little bit of time in Umlaut and in trying to find this temple you went mm. to quite a few of the other temples so you do have mm. kind of a rough idea of whose gods are where um, so you would have at least a general idea of where to start looking for that um, as you sort of moved out of the hot section of the temple and into the cooler section of the temple and worked your way out towards the door, you notice that it's um, dark all through the power plant. All the lights are out because the power plant shut down. Um, and they weren't using any kind of torches or lanterns or anything. They were running off their own power. So they have no lights. And um... Good thing I have night vision. <laughs> oh, wait. Harold might not. <laughs> night vision or dark vision? Those are dark vision. You can I'm only use night vision, vision at night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you work your way through it slowly but surely, <laughs> carefully stepping over the multitude of dead cultists and the guard people and maintenance workers and everything else that was in here. Jesus. And step <laughs> outside 
of the power plant and notice immediately that the city is devastated, to put it nicely. Um, oh. being, being a subterranean city and the epicenter of a repeated earthquake did not do so hot for uh, the city of, of Umlot proper here. Quite a few chunks of the ceiling have fallen and smashed completely through the fronts of buildings and there's big boulders into the middle of the path the walkways and things that run around the city and stuff like that it it's a real big mess um all of the lights are out in the city so you can see people are starting to pull dig out torches and lanterns and things kind of dotted about as you look around um as if people try to start rescue operations essentially trying to evacuate people pull people out of destroyed buildings and rubble and all that kind of stuff um you can also notice straight away that the lava lake is dimmer than it was when you ran in here um and noticeably dimmer than it was previous times that you've been in the city um it looks almost as though the lava has cooled substantially and is um no longer giving off as much light and heat as it had been previously well, that's another problem to take care of. We've turned the lava. We've turned the. We happen to have turned a lava lake into more of like a magma-ish lake. Sort it's of. Not, it's not bad, you know. There's worse things. We could yeah. just have. De we could just have a dead tree. Um. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. About. That. Didn't, didn't... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so you start looking for the, the temples that you remember having visited when you were trying to find this one weeks ago. And oh. um, it Do takes... I find one that's not crushed? <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a little bit of time. A lot of them have <laughs> evacuated or have dispatched their clerics out throughout the city to try to um, yeah. contribute to the rescue efforts, right? They're going to answer the call um to heal and move move debris and anything else that they think they can muster themselves to do um but thankfully you rolled extremely high on the percentile check to find somebody Yay. who may be able to help you in this instance so you do find someone it just takes you a bit of time it takes about maybe a half hour or so to actually successfully nail down somebody who could potentially revive cast a spell high enough to revive bella <laughs> Um, Yay! Oh, uh, relief. It's, I believe it's 500 <laughs> gold for the material cost. Yep. Because uh, it's just a race dead. Well, thankfully, Lucy has that money on her. So she will pay up the 500 gold to uh, hopefully get Bella back on her feet. 500 is just double check okay um so you kind of lay bella out on this altar and um as a sort of like a makeshift hospital bed and the cleric cleric sets to work getting ready to do everything they need to to perform this spell and, and hopefully revive uh bella for you while that's happening i'm gonna cliffhang that briefly uh -huh. and cut back to the pillar itself where the rest of our party is currently sort of doing makeshift guard duty um is there anything that you would like to do or are you just standing guard full attention eyes peeled are you gonna poke around and investigate some are you gonna what are you doing i i'm just standing around keeping an eye on the door Basically, kind of like at the doorway, guns trained down the hall, just in case. So you're like that, taking yeah. a door? The Isaac looking around. You're not drinking tea? Savage! Well, I mean, he's not going to be drinking <laughs> tea right now. tea right there. <laughs> Can't be relaxed without tea. Dorian oh, is going to be... Go ahead. Do you guys see the map, or is it just 
Me and Lucy that don't see the map or Oh, we're still we on the map. We did not see the map here. Yeah. Okay. My... I forgot to grab the banner. Fuck <laughs> in right quick. <laughs> so Dorian is just uh after his uh brief uh <coughs> touching of the shield and getting a little bit of a zap. Um <laughs> He is just going to sit down, kind of, the um, pillar to his back, um, kind of cross-legged with his staff sitting on his lap, almost in like a meditative stance, and just close his eyes briefly for a moment, hmm. as he plans on taking a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good, good plan. Good idea. Probably. If anyone interacts with him, he will speak with them, but for the most part, he's just sitting there looking all calm and, you know, mm -hmm. composed. Uh, Vanessa's gonna probably actually take a short rest, too. But she's gonna keep her ears peeled. So I will just keep an eye on the door and then get to do shit. So he's just gonna be walking around and looking. Okay. Um. So as you do that, you do see, um, you do notice that sort of brightness shift in the lava that it's not as significant as it had been earlier slash previous times you've been in the city. Um. Now that combat's over and everything's kind of calmed down a bit you're, you can take as you're completely surrounded by it you notice that change in things um you can see that there's the three remaining spheres around that dark sort of nebulous void that's all too familiar to the one remaining member of the party who was actually at the other one um <laughs> yes so, run, run out of, run out of original party members <laughs> yeah, it's get, it's getting it's getting tough getting tough to make connections. Um, but you can see that inky black sort of void in the in the center of the concentric spheres, and then there's this big mechanical apparatus that they've sort of constructed around it that would um, spin, and it basically works like an alternator. It would scrape ever so slightly along the outside of the outermost bubble and just sort of generate energy that way um but it is currently shut off and everything has gone quiet in terms of the mechanical equipment the big crankshaft isn't spinning and any, all that stuff has gone quiet as you're just kind of sitting here hoping that nothing big and nasty shows up to take another crack at this thing is yeah. trying to get get some rest in get some get some vibes get some energy um <laughs> So, you're on that duty, and we will cut back. Uh, Lucy, make a perception check for me. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad, yet. not bad. Yet. Okay, so, as the cleric is um, casting the spell and getting ready to channel this energy in, you're focused on Bella and just waiting for her to wake up and the the spell casts and there's this sort of breath holdy pause and uh nothing happens oh no what the cleric is looking kind of confused as well and kind of gives a body a shake or two and um in sort of this commotion of things you fail to notice Taro quietly excuse himself as he slips away from you. Um, you look around and he's nowhere to be found. Like, oh shit, where did he go? Um, Lovely. But Bella has not come back. And the, the cleric's looking like, I cast a spell. You saw the energy go into her. I don't know why. It, something's got to be... Um, Something has to have hold of her soul or, or something. It's 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 not free to come back. It, it's not hanging around. I don't know where I don't know what the problem is. 
Are you? How, when did? How? Where did she die? How did she die? Like this is the did. did she, how did can, she die? <laughs> can she? Can we hear the power plant's noise? From... Um, you're close enough where you definitely would still be able to hear the alarm going off. Yeah. That was well. You hear the noise outside, right? There was a problem. Oh. Nope. And where'd you go? Lost you. She, she got lost. Get some people out. What happened? You, you disconnected. disconnected. Damn it. Oh, did did you hear any of what I just said? Like no. The first no. Words? We heard the can you hear that alarm sound and then you cut and disappeared. Alright, so basically you can hear the alarm. Basically, we got in there as we heard it. Um, trying to figure out what's wrong. Something backfired. We tried to get some people out. And as you can see, um, something must have happened. Apparently. I was um, trying to get some more people out. Well, I, I can try it again. Uh, just in case it's a, a, an issue of willingness and not some other external force, but it felt like she's just not here to come back. I don't, couldn't tell you for for certain though. Um, you said it feels as if her soul was not was being held back. Yes, it was un unavailable to come back to the body. Um, How does these things even happen? It uh, there's a lot of powerful magics and curses objects all, all kinds of things can um, latch on to a, a soul once it's been de detached from its body um, there's a lot of chaotic energy especially with everything that's going on uh, well that's rather concerning I if if you have questions I could cast speak with dead it, it that would still work um even without her soul being available but um unless you know what you want to ask i don't necessarily recommend that at the moment we've got quite a lot of things going on um but... yes um i suppose to come here get her back and then this happens good grief uh, is there something we could do with the body while we try to remediate to whatever's keeping her like this? Whatever's causing that? Um, we... I'm not sure of the current situation with everything that's going on. We could inter her body here for now. We would have to get someone to cast a kind of preservation spell so that would be needed to buy you more time if you have some sort of extensive thing to do. Um, but with the chaos that's going on up, up, I don't know, the city might not even be stable. I don't know if it's safe to even leave her here. If the, the ceiling drops and she'll be lost. I have Oh. Mm. But we, we we certainly have the space available at the moment. We can place her somewhere safe, at, at least as safe as we can consider it. Yes, could you preserve the body from decay until we find a solution to this peculiar pro problem that seems to have occurred? Yes, uh -huh. uh, we'll... We'll we'll make we'll make every every effort to um, take take care of Guildkeeper Ormoth for you. Oh, thank you. Um, I will keep, I shall keep in touch, but I have, as you can hear, matters to attend to rather urgently. But thank you. So of course, uh, Lucy's gonna thank her again and then go out see if she can't find taro well can't see any 
catch any sight of him. If she doesn't, uh, she's probably gonna head back down, like, yeah, down to the others to make sure everything's fine and tell them about the predicament they're in. <laughs> <coughs> Okay. Um, Damn, an 18 did not see Taro move out? Damn. Nope. Stealth was high. Um, sneaky, sneaky. So you <laughs> are going to head back to the rest of the group to let them know kind of what happened. Um, yep. Do you have a destination in mind there, Taro, or are you just, like, noping out? Um, I have a destination. Taro has to find the destination. Okay. <laughs> um, what is your destination? <laughs> He's going to be asking uh, for locations, the location of where Bella resides. No. Oh, okay. That's, that's not so bad. I, I was, when you were just like, I want to slip away, I'm like, oh, sweet Jesus, where we go. But that's not so bad. That's. I go can... to the signposts. <laughs> we can work with that. Because for once, I actually had that ready. <laughs> Um. So sorry, let's... sorry, I didn't throw you a curveball. I'll work I... on it next time. No, you're fine. I have just made the assumption that at some point somebody in this group is gonna be like, "I wonder what Bella, what happened at Bella's place." Um. So it does take you a couple of tries, given the chaos of the city and how kind of everybody's scrambling around and and stuff to finally like grab somebody and halt them and be like. Bella Orma's place. Where is it? And they point you in a direction and point you in a direction, and they eventually kind of navigate to you through yeah. the city to get to it. Um, it just takes you some time. Uh, so. yeah. Oh, and by this point, I have removed the safety outfit of course yeah sure <laughs> just run around town wearing a safety outfit Fine. Uh, are you gonna so, go scuba diving in the lava what a weirdo it takes you about an hour to eventually get your, yourself there but you do eventually find yourself approaching bella's shop from the outside And it is a Jesus. mess. Um, Jesus. I do I didn't rehide the map, did I? I didn't. Pretend no, like you can't it, see what's inside yet. I know, um, but you said it's a mess, and I looked. I'm like, oh my god. Yeah. So as you approach the the front door to the place, you can see that there are more of those robed cultists scattered about um, the entranceway. And like as you move inside, there's just bodies on bodies. They sent a um a whole mess of people in here to try to delay assuade diminish stop slow down however you want to Roadblock as much as possible of any way yeah uh they were trying to just buy time essentially um as you can no none of the bodies that you're seeing look particularly high ranking like some of the big spell casters that you fought in the the pillar itself it looks like it was just a they just threw bodies at her and hoped to just eat as much of her magic as they could before she actually got on to the task at hand um but you move inside move move yourself around here show you show me where you're going what you're doing <laughs> um yeah, so like I said, the bodies and things like that. You can see they um, there was this big mural in that waiting room that spanned the full wall between the two doors. That's been like shattered in, and there's oh. chunks of the mural on the, the floor in front of it. They broke that sucker. Um, in the central room here, the weapon racks are all broken. Um, you know, bodies have been thrown into them. Fire spells have been thrown at them. They've burnt up, and they're just piles of broken wood and weapons all strewn about from the mess um 
bodies on bodies as well. So you work your way up behind the counter. You do see there's a door leading to like a back room area. I check. Is it locked? It is not. When you step into this hallway, you find it completely empty, except where? Um, it is completely empty with the exception of um, the body of a changeling on the ground in front of you. Uh, the halls on both sides, the full length, there are all of these hooks sticking out of the wall, sets of hooks, um, but there's nothing on them down the entire length of the hall. Uh, can I check the pulse of the changeling? Uh, he is dead. Like dead, dead, like pulls of blood, like there's mm, yeah. not passed out dead. No, dead, dead. Okay. Um, I'll check in the this room first then down the hall before i go down the stairs okay um so this room here is her forge area you can see that um the fires of the forges are still flowing though they're not as bright as they once were as their lava fed and the lava's diminished um there's a few pieces in progress scattered about the place you clearly had some things in the in the works uh and a few things stoking in the fire and stuff like that when all hell broke loose um unfinished pieces that may continue to be so but uh nothing of a special interest in that front and then moving into this room down here Um, it's again, all four walls, with the exception of the doorway, are sets of barren hooks all along the wall. And then this table in the center of the room that, um, looks like it would be a workbench of some kind is, um, sitting there in front of you. Is there any drawers or anything I can check to maybe find stationery or any kind of notes or anything? Uh, no, not on that table. Okay. All right, then I, I guess I'll descend the stairs that no one in the party has ever done before. Yeah, and that's the curveball because I didn't prepare her living quarters. Why would you <laughs> need to go to her living quarters? You just tell me what. It, just tell me what it looks like. We don't actually have that picture. Yeah, um, it's a like a it's a two bedroom apartment essentially. Um, yeah. It's standard sort of kitchen, living room, dining room, two bedrooms, bathroom. It was a living space for her and her shop assistant. Um, there's a guest bedroom for when her daughter would crash in t when she's in town. But otherwise, this was kind of her space to just work and do her thing, hone her craft, and be blacksmith. I look under the bed, and I look in the closet for a hidden stowaway box. One of those, like, <clears throat> spies have, like... Oh shit boxes? I'm looking for one of those. Okay. Make uh, an investigation check. Dude, that's terrible. Um so you turn over the bed, you're looking around, check the closet, check this, check that, trying to find things, anything that looks um suspicious checking for false bottoms and false backs on things and eventually um you do manage to turn up a bit of a stash it's nothing like monumental but it's um it's a couple hundred gold and a teleportation scroll is it like a generic teleportation scroll or is it linked to somewhere no, it's a generic. It's a teleport you where you want to go. Holy shit. Okay. I, I mean, I was just looking for, like, in case of emergency, here's an identification shit and whatnot. But sure, we'll, we'll go with that. Well, <laughs> she, she's, not the, she's not the type to need a fake ID or a, or a, second, or a second passport, you know? She's, uh... That's, that's her get out of, get out of shit card. <laughs> Fair. Grab, grab the gold, grab the scroll, pop it, teleport, gone. Um, 
Okay. So, not a whole lot to go by, except that she's definitely been looted. Yeah, very much so. Um, thankfully, she doesn't keep a lot of, like, super high-powered weapons or anything laying around. I mean, there currently isn't any. Definitely. No. Oh! I mean, not like he has his information, but isn't there... A... Isn't there a room over this direction? There is a room over in that direction. I want to search all the rooms. Okay. So you come back downstairs from the living quarters, and you notice uh, this doorway on the left here is open into the room with armor, and that's all been ransacked, and the sort of uh, dummies that the armor sits on and stuff have all been knocked over and, and ransacked. But this doorway is closed, and you're like, uh -huh. they've looted everything. But this door somehow has been untouched. Well, not untouched. It's just closed. Well. Um. So, so you step inside, and there are just a small number of weapon racks, which are empty, and four armor dummies that have nothing on them. They've been stripped clean. I'm gonna go in. Okay. You step in. Um, what, you, what you saw at first glance is what you're seeing. It looks like... Uh, like, is there dust where the weapon should have been? Around, like, in the shape of kind of thing? Or is it just places like spotless in general normally, so it's not dust? Um, no, they keep the place pretty tidy. You wouldn't see, like, dust outlines on the weapon. Like, like okay. From it, a well-maintained, high-end luxury shop. Gotcha. Just trying to get a somewhat of an idea of what the cultists might be outfitted themselves with kind of shit to ahead of time prepare myself. <laughs> mm hmm Um, Okay. Do the dummies move at all, or are they stuck fi fixed to the center of the, of the room? Um, they have a little bit of movement to them in order to be able to get the armor on and off, but they're bolted to, like, the dummy itself is bolted to the floor, but it has some, like, articulation points to get in and get all the straps and things undone to take the armor off and on. Okay. And those are, like, they, the dummies weren't damaged or anything? They just took the armor off nice and easy? Uh, yeah, seemingly so. They they didn't, like, bust them. They just took the armors off and walked away. Just making sure my eyes aren't deceiving me. I'm going to touch where the armor should be to make sure I don't feel armored but don't see armor. Make a perception check. <laughs> <laughs> it just feels very odd that the room looks immaculate but not damaged whatsoever like everything else. It's just... Red flag and taro, real bad. Nope. Just feels like dummy. And then you realize you're just touching yourself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that does feel like armor. That's so weird. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Um, yeah, so it, it, it seems to just be a, a naked armor dummy. Okay. Um, and how many racks are there that are empty as well? Are we talking all, all six racks are empty? Yes. Uh, the four sets of armor and then the six racks of weapons. If I was going to make a rough guesstimate of how many weapons were physically in this room, what, uh, how many weapons are we talking that have been issued out to the cultists? Um, it would depend a bit because of like the size of the weapons would constrain how many could be on a given weapon rack if it was like a rack full of daggers there's a shitload of daggers um <laughs> that would we'll, be able to we'll, fit we'll stay short swords as a basic guess they're not um, gonna all be that but it as an average there's probably enough space to comfortably put eight to ten d weapons on display per rack so they're somewhere somewhere close to like 50 to 60 
God damn. That's bad. Okay. Um, so I guess the only thing he can do is he's going to just make sure the racks aren't, don't move and there's no like hidden panels behind them, kind of like an escape room kind of thing. Mm. It's about it's about the only thing he has left to do in this room, I guess, since he doesn't see, really see anything. So um, you give him a once over checking for any kind of like panel, like fake paneling that would pop in or switches, releases, catches, any of that kind of stuff. Um, you don't seem to find any. Okay. Well, alrighty. Uh, well, there's nothing in this room at all. Promise. I guess I'm gonna leave. <laughs> um, so behind the counter, there was uh, there's no ledger or log or anything that that could keep him any kind of important information that shouldn't be getting into anybody else's hands. Oh, uh, if you want to look for that, you can make an investigation check. Yeah. I'm just I mean, saying it's, she, she, it's, it's a store. <laughs> I just I feel like there definitely could be stuff in here that do not need to get out to the public. Mm -hmm. God. Hello Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> um so it it's a shop they weren't expecting to be attacked or anything like that. So there is a um le running ledger of orders that they were that they have fulfilled and are expecting to fulfill and who owes what money and all that kind of stuff um, is all logged in there. There's also their sort of like Dropbox. It was fairly early on in the day, so they hadn't done a ton of business yet. Um, it is locked, so you'd have to break it open. Um, but they do potentially have some money in there. Decide to be a thief. I have no desire to break open a lockbox to steal money. <laughs> um, okay. So everything's been looted, emptied. No, what you need is detect magic, is what you need. not like there's a paladin that has it that you like left shh that's not the point nope. you can co you can come back here on your own time missy um i'm gonna have to roll a dice for that if she remembers you know, all right well since he didn't since taro didn't find anything like is the ledger have anything to do with like inventory as well or just orders um the majority of what they dealt in were custom orders. Um, so it's more of a running ledger of things that they have made or are expecting to make um, for pending customers. It, it They don't so much keep inventory on stock aside from their sample weapons, which is basically just one of everything. So people can see the different production. Yeah, the, the different types of things that she can create for them. Okay. Okay. I was just trying to also get like a, a round number of what is out missing. Mm -hmm. Um, could I check any of the armor or weapons or anything to check to see if there's any kind of special logo that only she puts on there to where you, I could identify if I see it out and about? Yeah. Um, between some of the armor bits and the mundane weapons that are strewn about this central room here, you can uh, definitely identify her maker's mark. Okay. Something I will definitely want as well. As I'm walking around, I definitely want to keep an eye out for those maker marks. For the sh Especially for the ones that look shady. Mm -hmm. Ch yeah, pe people who don't look like they would normally be able to afford that particular type of... Yeah, you know, if they're not rich, or I assume them to be rich, mm -hmm. I mean, that could end up very wrong, but who cares? Alright, well, I guess that's all Taro can do in this room with his limited skill set after he blew literally all of his abilities for a battle. <laughs> <laughs> and he will skedaddle out. Oh, no! 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 Before he leaves, he loots every single cultist. 
okay. for any for any important information, notes, valuables of any sort. How how could I just leave that many dead bodies and not check what's on them? Also, the changeling. Gonna loot the changeling too. No, no, not like I'm not like gonna strip a bear or anything. Just I'm looking for important stuff on the changeling since he looks like he works there kind of thing so he definitely might have something of importance that could i don't know okay um so you pick through the cultists looking for anything of significance aside from their sort of standard Guard. issue robes and mundane weapons and um everyone has some form of cultist symbol on them and we said it's belt buckles rings necklaces bracelets it, they all have their own flavor to them, but um, they all have that same symbol somewhere on their person. Uh, but aside from that, you're not finding anything. If there was anybody who was sort of coordinating this or running the show here, they're not amongst the bodies. Um, so you're not finding any kind of like significant orders, notes, instructions, any of that kind of stuff. Everybody was, who's here was left behind for a reason. Um, on the changeling, you don't find anything particularly noteworthy. He wasn't expecting, um, to need to have anything on him, right? He's in, a, in the, in his shop, in his house. Um, so he was kind of just standard kit, wasn't really armored up or anything like that. And, um, make an investigation check for me. Are you saying the changing has a bag of holding that's invisible as well? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate my life. There it is. You just had to reach out and touch it. Reach out and touch somebody. Okay. Um. <coughs> so you um, don't find anything overly significant on his person, but you can kind of tell from the way that the body is splayed and the way that his hand is sort of resting that he was armed when he fell and it's been removed. Interesting. Okay. Alright, well, I guess I'm done here. Um, is there any way to... Are the all the doors like at the front of the store and whatnot like destroyed kind of thing from fireballs and stuff or am i able to actually secure this place like lock it up um you would have a hard time locking this place up right now they okay. basically blew blew the doors off and and tried to hit hard and fast and okay. bella didn't hold back she threw everything she's just like fuck it we'll build it again um and blew the place up so i know a guy we'll be it's, fine it's, yeah it's it's pretty pretty well shambles at this point all right. Well, with that, I'll probably skedaddle, and um, I'm gonna probably head back down to, I guess, the bubble area, the lot, the the place where I left my cohort to rest, I guess. Okay. Um, and on my way, I'll pick back up the quit the, the suit, the safety gear. Oh, right. Okay. I was like the suit. The suit. Um. Gotcha. Uh, so, your. Let me see real quick. So I'm like three or four hours behind everyone else. <laughs> yeah, basically. Um, I mean, technically, yeah. I could teleport to them. If you want to burn that scroll that you literally just got. Um, yeah. uh, all I know is the things you give me, if I don't use them, I'll die with them. That was your own fault, damn it. Yeah. Um, you're the one who only ever bonked two people in the entire time you were in the game. Um, and one stone person. And one stone. Meanwhile, that's all going on. Um, Lucy, having been left with Bella's body and unsuccessfully reviving her, um... What were you doing when after you noticed Taro was gone? Frustrated. She sighed frustratedly. <laughs> I'm like, fine. Another one of these guys. <laughs> and just like went back to the bubble. 
You've known me for 15 minutes. You've known him for 15 minutes, but he's already ghosted her. I'm That's not, not cool, I'm not, yo. I'm not buff enough for you. It's fine. Some paladins have abandonment issues. Mm. She does. Zara abandoned Is that her. why they swe swear loyalty to something that doesn't physically exist? Yes. The god can't physically exist, though. Don't fuck with the god. Ooh. Anyways. Um... <laughs> Kim's okay. like, I swear to God. <laughs> Knock I, it off. I don't know. You're fine. I'm just, um, yeah. <laughs> I'm unfold. fine, Kyle. I'm fine. Everything's fine. We're fine. You went all the way up to the surface. You came all the way back down. You surface. didn't, didn't, well, not, not surface. Up in well, the upper Well, we online. surfaced. It's like, what the fuck? I went to the surface too? No. <laughs> Unless you want to, but... I mean, I have no really relevance information to go up there, so not really. No. Um, but you were up there, and you didn't bring help. I'm just, I'm just sniffing. You just see Tar, tar just sniffing the ground. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm smelling for fiends. <laughs> So, Lucy comes back down. You have a while before Taro gets back, given all the exploration he opted to do. Did you get, um, did you get help, Lucy? We'd, we'd probably stay down there for a while, to be fair, to either catch some rest, make sure nobody freaking gets down. Anyways, um, we, have a big, uh, we have a bigger problem on our hands. Oh. Whatever that elf was that we saw, it did something to Bella, and I've basically wasted gold trying to bring her back. Something's got a hold of her soul. Dorian her. will open. Wonderful. Dorian will open one eye. So, what you're saying is you spent your entire time trying to resurrect a dead keeper rather than getting reinforcements to protect the thing she died protecting. I was carrying a halavir. You, I, I told you, you to go get to go get help while you were out there doing that too. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry. I got out of my mind. I was preoccupied then the what was his name? Did I get did I get his name? Taro? Yes, I've introduced myself as just Taro right now. Taro ghosted on me, so I've opted to deliver the news instead, which I have forgotten to about the help, but there's pretty much nobody around. They're all on the surface. Dorian's Taking gonna care sigh. of whatever is happening. Dorian's going to sigh, and he's going to say, This is what happens when you count on a peg that is part of the will of a fundamentally broken system. I am not part of that <laughs> fundamentally broken system quite yet, and might not be if things keep unveiling the way they do. Thank you very much. Uh, keep... You're welcome. <laughs> so, you seem to know much more than what you first talked about. Do I? What did I first talk about again? The way you talked about the Empire and its cultural erasure, for example? I don't think my views are exclusive to my own person. No, but nobody speaks about, Lee, about it so clearly without, you know, proofs or a certain history or d dwelling onto that sorts of matter or fear of reprisal from an oppressive force of law and forces that actively seek out and oppress those that speak out against them hmm. the arch is an eyebrow lucy kind of cast a glance at kenny like help me there <laughs> he's not incorrect 
so no help from Kinley. God. No help from God damn it. You know what Kinley's been saying this whole freaking time. He's gonna turn his head and open his other eye and look at Kinley. Uh, well, I suppose he might not be the help we were wishing from her. Or maybe he is. He just doesn't know it yet. She kind of says this whole part, not loud, not too loud. Kind of low, so if you catch that, whatever. So after but... Kinley's whole, you know, this is what I've been saying the whole time, he is going to reply, uh, oh, look at you. Aren't you the perfect picture of a little boy's idea for the future? <laughs> I, I just give him an odd look. We get it. You do not like the Keepers. Oh, I have no problem with the Keepers. It's what they represent. Yeah. Well, you got the gist of what I was trying to say anyways. Did I? He arches Hopefully. his eyebrow again. <laughs> I don't know, Ezreal. What do you think about these people? He just sort of nods to himself. I couldn't agree more. With this dick. Huh? Isaac is asking, can he talk to the stick? <laughs> <laughs> are, are you asking Dorian this? Yeah. That's why I said it in Isaac's voice. He'll, he'll sort of turn his head toward you. What of, the course the, of course it can't talk. It's a stick. Oh. So why do you talk to it? No, I'm not talking to it. I'm talking to Ezreal. Where is he? <laughs> Can't see in the stick. God damn it. <laughs> stick doesn't know that you're. He you thinks you're talking to a stick. <laughs> I mean, technically, he is talking to a stick, but. <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't know how to get it. I don't know. Isaac wouldn't perceive that, you know. You're thinking of a person. He just sees a stick. <sighs> like, <laughs> <sighs> that's why he's asking, "Where is he?" Because <laughs> he doesn't know. Well, anyways, the alarm is still going off, and there's nobody that has come down. So whatever they're dealing with upstairs has probably, uh, well, has taken most of the forces we would need to protect this. She kind of hesitate, not wanting to say pillar <laughs> thing. Dorian just stares at you with your hesitation. What? What? You're staring at me. So? That's rude. You've been rude ever since I met you. What? It, it, it is extremely rude for the rude to put out to push ah, to point out <laughs> rudeness in others. I personally do not know how to respond to, respond to that, but just imagine a sassy, snarky, snarky <laughs> remark back from Lucy. Insert snark. Insert snark that Julia cannot provide. <laughs> so, Dorian will stand up in one fluid, like, very fluid motion. <sighs> I doubt that demon will be back. Without minions. And I would say relatively safely that the minions in this city are probably running quite low. Oh, I'm sure there's plenty to go around. They just need to go and fetch some more in the other cities. All of that takes time. So. 
you seem to know what this is. He sort of tilts his head back toward the uh, glowing sphere with the mechanical monstrosity that has been heretically constructed around it. And hypothetically, let's say I do. What of it? Well, technically, I would just feel like a total failure knowing that uh, this was here and two complete strangers successfully defended it in your stead. Well, I guess this is where we see differently because I see this as a good sign oh. that we've been waiting for, per se. You've, you've been waiting for demons and cultists to attack and destroy seven of ten shields on something that could very well mean the difference between life and death for all of your creation? Well, one of them is gone. But, oh. yes. More you... so, perhaps, requested help appearing when needed. Did, did you fail to protect that one, too? Well, since it's still up, I'd say no. Wait, was he referencing to that one or the other one? The, the druid, the, the one in the druid, druidic alliance. Well, unlike this one, came in too late, really. Oh, so just like this one, you came in too late. Hmm. I mean, it is a good thing that me and my new companion were here to uh, mop up for you. It's something I'm used to. I've done work with the uh, Lyceum project before, and I, I can say I'm quite used to mopping up after keepers that did a shoddy job or didn't bother to take on a task. <laughs> of course. But you do know what this is, then, I suppose? Haven't the faintest idea. <laughs> <sighs> she kind of looks up, exasperated. I'm sure Ezreal could tell you all about it, though. But I don't think he'd talk to you. I'm pretty sure I would not be able to communicate with whoever that is. He does tend to only associate those with a higher intellect. Can't say I've been selected for my intellect. I'll give you that one. Hmm. Well, isn't this lovely? If Shit. only we had some tea and sandwiches, we could have a little picnic here. Perhaps Taro will be diligent enough to bring back some reinforcements. I doubt it. I have no clue where he went. <sighs> Sad. I kind of liked him. Needs to work on his swordplay a little bit. I had to finish off a couple enemies that uh, he was just not quite able to uh, destroy on his own. You realize but he shows only one, right? <laughs> but he shows true potential. Well, sounds like <laughs> you're quite the adversary. I wouldn't say that. I'm just a man with a stick. Lucy kind of raises a brow. That. Ah. <sighs> gonna finish that thought or are you just gonna say that what I, what what question isaac i didn't hear you i'm sorry he's asking about this talking talking to the stick yeah he, he ignored still... the overall oh it was un unsatisfied with your bush beating he'd probably have to follow up then i'm working on it okay well, you three are quite chatty. What about your friend over here? And he'll 
look over toward Vanessa. I don't know. She's always been pretty quiet. Hmm? What would you like to talk about? Despite, um... Keep her business. It's gonna... He's taking her short rest. She's blocking all you out. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a business. Yeah. Is this really... It. Is this really keeper business, though? Considering it was non-keepers that handled it for you? I mean, of course, that one, and he sort of thumbs over toward Kinley, came in at the last, but uh, it's not exactly like we needed your assistance. So, um, sorry to interrupt you. As Pardon you're me. having this conversation, you finally notice that Isaac has very, very slowly inched himself closer and closer to you and was trying to shift himself, like, directly behind you when you finally kind of look over your shoulder and you're like, um, excuse me. <laughs> He's, like, right up in your personal space. Oh, again? <laughs> Can I assist you? Do, do, do I smell good? Well, you don't smell good, but... I'm wondering where Ezreal's at. I can't see him. He's right here. And he will move the staff over. <laughs> Is he, like, camouflaged? <sighs> like, he really does not know. That's why he's trying to answer, ask questions. <laughs> Dorian's actually trying to, like, uh... <laughs> come up with a way to kind of explain it to you. Um, if you can't see him, that's not something I can help you with, as he will only present himself to the truest of believers. Believers. So the fact that I'm questioning him makes it so I can't see him. Yes, and you question him because... You can't see him. <laughs> what a paradox. Uh... Isaac just bows to Ezreal, says he's sorry. Sorry for not believing you, Ezreal. He'll take it under advisement. And Isaac will slowly back off. So, are uh, any of you, you know, Imperial official types actually going to go get help, or we're just going to stand here having a pleasant conversation all day? Since Lucy didn't, I'm going to go... It's an adventure. I'm going to have tea. <laughs> oh, I'll have some. Hell no. uh, since, since Lucy did I'm going to head up to the surface and see if we can get some reinforcements. Okay. And see what the situation is up there. Room here. Um, Dorian will take tea with Isaac if Isaac will offer him tea. Indeed, offer tea. Okay. Like, he's got nothing against Dorian. He just. That. What was it? A perception or knowledge or. Insight. Yeah, that insight check was just a natural 20, so. <laughs> Immediately picked picked up that you were uh, giving off shady vibes. So I, never. I wasn't expecting that, so I had to react and think, how would Isaac show that he's thinking that you're lying or something? And, well, sniffing at you was the best I could think of. <laughs> so, Kin Kinley, you work your way back out of the the lava lake into this like lower section underneath the temple you see the big mechanism at the end of the hall uh, down here way at the end that looks like it 90 degrees all of the momentum of the crankshaft that runs down the center of the hallway you follow the spiral stair because your passive perception is better than everybody else that's already gone up behind you. Um, <laughs> with your 11 and 12, respectively, you were not noticing a whole lot on your way through the building. Um, 
but you come back up through the spiral, out the door, into this... Let me get you actually token. Here's your... So, come back into the center space. All the machinery is shut down. It's all slowed to a halt. It's all gone quiet. Um, the heat is no longer intense in this space, as you notice that somebody has politely closed the door. Uh, that Yay. dumped into the room full of lava. As good. you move through the space, you n start to notice that a lot of the temple's sort of iconography is still intact. Um, obviously, anywhere that there's heavy machinery and equipment and things, they've demolished walls and cut holes for doors and put their airlock thing in and all that kind of stuff. Um, but aside from those very specific alterations they pretty much just left the rest of it alone because they didn't need to renovate it um so you're seeing a lot of like large depictions of the divine six and sort of their being worshipped and a lot of celebration and fanfare um you can dig into it deeper if you want to but you're also on a up here on a task um but you notice that that's here and that it'll still be here if you want to investigate it later yeah, later on we need to get some guards down here as much as i want to research it i ain't got time for it right now. Mm -hmm. um you work your way through this sort of like heat airlock thing into the central part it's dark right all the lights are out because power plant shut down um so you're doing the best you can in that regard as you sort of move back out towards the main entrance again you're picking up bits and pieces of the divine six iconography throughout the temple so you know for sure as if you didn't already have confirmation with the pillar being underneath yeah. it, this was most definitely their um domain at one point you work your way. The alarm is still going off. Burr, 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 burr. And you come outside and see what Lucy and Taro already did on their visit up, which was um, the diminished lava lake, all of the lights in the city being out, the huge boulders that have fallen into the roadways and some of the buildings that have been crushed by falling ceiling rock. And it's a mess. The city is in complete chaos and disarray as rescue and evac operations have sprung up all over the city. Everybody's in a scramble, and you're like, oh, okay. I have, I have a kind of makes sense. Um, so there's, I'm guessing there's a long staircase up. Because the elevator's probably out. Oh, uh, yeah. It, it, it Next to the elevator system, there are um, stairwells out, yeah. Yeah, because I can find help down here, so. I just need to get up to the, up to the embassy, see what's survived, and try and get some help. It's about my long okay. trek up the stairs. So you um, head to where the stairwell is, or sort of like the elevator area part okay. of the city. Um, let's see. As you are moving through the city in that direction, you do notice Taro moving through a different part of the city. Um, it, it, you don't like cross each other in proximity, but you'd happen to notice him walking by on like a different ring of the city. Okay. Um, he seems to be heading back in the direction of the temple, but he's on a lower ring than you are as you're working your way up to get out of the place. Um, and you reach that stairwell and you can see that there are guards at the bottom here that are trying to coordinate the evacuation as people are coming out of this lower part of the city they're injured they're carrying people on stretchers they're carrying people on their shoulders it's a lot it's a major rescue operation um so there are a few guards down here trying to coordinate that and keep things civil as people pile themselves into the stairwell and try to climb it 
as best they can. Um, they're doing the best they can to kind of maintain that, and they're trying to figure out how the heck they're going to get people out of here with the elevator system not having any power at the moment. Yeah. Um, so you can go up and try to actually get serious help, or you can try to flag them down if you want. You have options. Yeah, I need serious help, so I will slowly make my way upstairs. Okay. Um, so you make your way upstairs, and... find yourself in a bit of a mess. The whole city is pretty well screwed at this point. Um, adjustment. Top. Still down below. Uh, so you come out of the sort of elevator structure of the stairwells that spiral up alongside it. You see that they now largely have the fire in the Marcelheim Embassy somewhat under control. Um, there's still some residual pockets of combat going on in the city. You can hear the sort of small explosions that accompanied the combat that you had heard earlier when you first came in and just beelined it for the stairs. Um, there's still little pockets of that throughout the city going on. They're shooting guards and guards are fighting back and they're in combat um, but the fire at the embassy is now largely under control It, but the main embassy building itself has been bombed slash burned alright how badly is it burned um pretty substantially the um they were able to get on top of it pretty quickly but the size of the building made it difficult to contain in ready fashion. So it they've lost a decent chunk of the like upper floors and things that they weren't able to get to fast enough because they had to extinguish their way up there. Right. Um, I will try and make my way around trying to find the ambassador or find out who the head of the city guard is. Um... Thankfully, they had the druids next door that could do some weather for them, <laughs> get some elemental control. <laughs> Otherwise, they might have really had some trouble. Man, not going so hot. Um. Go ahead and make an investigation check for me, and then we'll have you, we'll wait and see how that goes first. Not very investigative today. Not very investigative today. Yeah, it's our normal so, day. So, yeah, it takes time to kind of sort through everything that's going on, right? There's a steady stream of people evacuating from down below there's a lot going on with that as people try to render aid to them they're trying to squash whatever's still going on up here they're trying to you know get things under control and, and try to restabilize what's going on um most of what the upper umlot isn't really aware of the extent of what's going on below aside from the fact that there was massive earthquakes and people are streaming out of the stairs um with no power to the elevators. it's They're still a little in the dark on what's going on down there. It takes you a while to find someone with the kind of authority that you're hoping to find. The ambassador is nowhere to be found. You eventually find her personal assistant, and um, she directs you to someone with, like, second third in command kind of authority for the embassy to help direct you towards coordinating some sort of guard effort to head back down there to do what you're hoping to do um gonna need a persuasion check from you the you can make it at advantage because you're invoking some command authority um right. but they're 
the guards are currently stretched thin, so trying to requisition a some sort of unit or squad is gonna 17. take a bit. Okay. Um, there you go. A little for that. Um, so it it takes a little convincing, right? You have to explain like how much detail are you going to go into? You're just going to say there's a problem at the power plant. We need extra protection, or are you uh, going to basically that the, the power plant needs protection? Uh, otherwise, things will get a lot worse around here. Okay. Um, so it, it takes a little convincing, right? They're like, as if shit's not already bad. Come on, like look around. You get a bit of pushback. Um, and I, I just write in my face, it could be a hell of a lot worse. But they'll, between the persuasion and, and keeper authority, they'll acquiesce to the request and send um, a small unit down behind you to try to help right. um, sure the place up. And as soon as you have more friend, men, send more, because who knows when they're going to strike again. Speaking of strike again, ah, uh, you get left out of the fight twice. Uh. <laughs> well, if we teleported us faster. I mean, come on. Hmm. <sighs> yeah. So, um, while you are mustering the guard here, <laughs> it's been a couple of hours. Um, Taro has made his way back down to where everybody else is. Um, Timing-wise, that's terrible, but that's how that's... Dorian is currently having tea with Isaac with one eyebrow raised, kind of mystified the fact that he's drinking tea with his feet. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's taking, uh, observing the pillar. Quite, quite deftly. Uh, um, so Taro has come back down here, <laughs> and, um, you well, are welcome to done. fill everyone in on what you found, or not, your discretion, um, as you... <laughs> so, Taro's gonna make his way to Dorian. Taro? Uh, I did a little digging on Bella. Yes. And there were hooks all across her back room empty. So I'm assuming she got looted for more of just mundane things. Did she Lucy looked... see the hammerhead? Sorry. Oh yeah, you definitely saw everything. You walked oh. yeah. over. Mm -hmm. Um, Dorian what, will say whether he tells you that or whether like are you filling everybody in or are you just telling Dorian currently it's just me and well I guess it, it's it, it's key he's key he hears it too since they're drinking tea together at this moment yeah mm -hmm. do I need to make a check to see if I hear it or we just assume I do I would assume you do you're yeah I'm sitting, not... right, sitting right there enjoying your tea together so um, I need to make a check to see if I hear it yeah, make a perception check to see if you pick up on conversation. Because she's checking out the orb. Uh, does a 12 make it? Does a 12? Does it? Uh, it's probably somewhere over there. What? Ish. Yeah. From what? You, you catch the, like, Bella's name being dropped and that the place was looted. Um, you don't necessarily get the much specifics beyond that, but you at least catch... Bella and looted, like, in their little bit of conversation. Okay. From what I know of Miss Ormar's reputation, that's probably not good. Uh, whenever Lucy hears that Bella's place has been looted, she's gonna come over and inquire of what exactly has been looted. Uh, Keeper Orma's entire shop has been looted. So how how goes? Where is she still recovering? She's her soul's not 
something's got a hold of her soul, but, um, did you see hammerheads? No, I saw dead bodies and oh. ra random mundane tools laying on the ground. That was, that was mainly the only thing in that room. Oh. You're going to see uh, and then a changeling also dead. You're gonna see the uh, blood leaves lose his face a little bit. They took the hammerheads. And a hammer. I mean, oh. it's just a weapon. Well, Ezreal, <laughs> what do you expect? I mean, if you're killed by a powerful demon, do you really expect your soul to be that readily handy to be put back in your body? Hmm. That's extremely bad. I assume she had some extremely powerful enchantments on some of these hammerheads. Oh, yes, I do agree, Ezreal, but uh, the alternative would probably be a lot worse, and you'll see him kind of turn his gaze back toward the bubbles and the dark voided sphere at its center. <laughs> you mean oh. like generals getting out? I'll I'll turn I'll turn to you at that and go. Whoa whoa yeah. whoa did, whoa whoa! Did you say that out of character or in character? She mumbled that. So if you're <sighs> able to catch it, cool. If not, I've got good perception. <laughs> uh, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, you heard that. I guess. <laughs> you hear Lucy mumble that. I was gonna interject <laughs> based on what Lucy said earlier. Uh, I'm told that more creatures outside of that bubble come from when those bubbles drop. So, if we had didn't stop them, we definitely would have been seeing a lot more of those guys. So, um, you're just going to see Dorian's hand tighten on his staff. And, like, hear his knuckles pop a little bit, and, like, little cracks of dark energy... <laughs> sort of start cracking up the wood of the staff, and he's going to be staring dead at you, Lucy. What... Lucy's going to look at him. And what do you know? Well, the generals. I know that. Two or three are out and about. Which ones? I. <laughs> Oh god, does Lucy... Hold on. She doesn't know their sin, but she knows the name of two of them, right? Wait. You definitely know one sin. She definitely knows that Callan is sloth. I mean, yeah. She can put that together. Uh... Well, there's that odd elf named Kalalan in Soga, and there's... Well, I'm not sure if she's a general or not, but she's been quite a pain in your in her side. Arse. Pain in her arse. Would, would I be familiar with the name Becky? No. Okay, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, yes, because I was like waiting like, uh, if she is one, well, her name would be Becky, but I don't really know if she's one or not. Definitely is powerful though. I see. This grip will lighten and the kind of cracks will disappear off of Ezreal. What kind of demon would name themselves Becky anyway. He'll go back to sipping his tea. Well, it's probably a fake name, such as Kellyland. So how do you know this Callahan and this Becky are, as you say, generals? Well, the first one has been accidental. <laughs> you accidentally <laughs> discovered a general. Yes. <laughs> I. 
<laughs> Lucy will not want to expand on that one. <laughs> it just wants to know. That was an accident, goddammit. You, you were really muffled, Lolly. Uh, what, what? Isaac had just asked, how did that happen? Because he wasn't around for that. Mm -mm. <sighs> was after the fall of the first pillar. And yes, things escalate quickly when you're panicky. Oh, you get a new power? <laughs> I see. But what? how do you know? But these are generals. Well, gathered some information. Apparently, generals make lairs that attunes to their sins. So do um, dragons. Yes, but you don't see a dragon have power over. Hmm, how do we put that? Fuck! How would she? Fucking talk about the poppy fill that like makes everybody sleepy. You never heard of slow dragons? You, They're just not intelligent is enough. You would be surprised at what dragons can do. They are not dragons. They are fiends. I know this because I have a sixth sense that tells me whether when there's a fiend nearby. And I happen to stand in a room with two of my uh, teammates that, um... Well, that's unfortunate. They both seem to not be with us anymore. Both having Con to leave. Convenient. Quite. Quite. <laughs> leave. You don't, you don't have to slurp leave. it. <laughs> leave. Well, technically Zar did heart. leave. <laughs> <laughs> Shelly did leave, so she's not. She, it's a half truth. <laughs> Most of it. So, true. you're you're saying that uh, this Callahan has constructed a lair. Mm hmm Oh, believe me. And he's just staring at you like, are you gonna tell me more about it, or are you just gonna say that it's a lair? <laughs> There's poppy fields. Well, she's probably gonna just spill the beans by this point because, goddammit, they saved a pillar. Sure, let's give them information that's payback. Uh, Why not? Is that how that works? Ah! Uh, here's all the cards. I just met you. At least you helped. <laughs> yeah, at least you helped. You saved the fucking full city from, from just collapsing on itself. That's, 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 that, that's not tiny. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and I am wondering, will my pay come from Lyceum or will it come from the Keepers? Hmm? Depends if you stick around or not. I think she means if we survive, since they're missing two of their members. Take that as you want. But they're not dead. Well, she doesn't know <coughs> poor Shelly, but she's pretty damn sure Sar's still alive. <laughs> I don't really remember anything about a general liking to sit back and get high on Poppy, but I suppose times change. No, he does not get high on Poppies. He uses them to make everybody drowsy. It's wary. So he's a sleep demon. Mm. Gets in your nightmares. The oogly booglies. More the kind of causing wariness. Causing you to want to sleep. Causing you to not want to do much because you're too tired to fight back. So I suppose sloth would be a better term. <laughs> you don't have to make this one. So, um... Lucy and Vanessa make perception checks for me. Ah, fuck me! Oh, that's a four. That's bad. 
I wish I had Lucky. No, you don't. It's it's, it's, it's trash. Lucky is a lie. Lucky is a lie. <laughs> the only Lucky you want is if you're a halfling and you get it on once. On That's the one. only time. That's all you want Lucky for. You do not want the trait. Or the feet, I mean. Garbage. Garbage. So, um... Fortunately, they're gonna drop... Spoiler alert. <laughs> What's that? Spoiler, Spoiler alert! Riddle with the tokens. Um... <laughs> In teleports, the second attempt. <laughs> You're fucking. It's been a few hours. They, um, so they noticed you before you noticed them, and you hear one of these underling-looking people go, "Oh shit, they're still here!" And that clues you in that they're also in the room. Um, oh. But the <laughs> lead person is going to get one chance to pop off an attempt to pop a bubble because they you didn't notice them pop in and they noticed you were so like a surprise pop <laughs> surprise pop no not, not a, a surprise not a, pop. Not, not, a, not a desk pop but a surprise pop surprise pop that is right uh I'm not sure if anyone got that reference i do not it's uh from other guys i don't know that whatever that is so a... i'm sorry it's a will ferrell and um Mark Wahlberg movie. They're cops. So, um... <laughs> the, bub the bubble does not pop. Oh, thank god. Well, you say that now, but it hasn't... I mean, they're not dead yet. I know! Oh, <laughs> we gonna work on that. <laughs> thing. Do -do. That's not a thing yet. Uh, yeah, so that's that. We'll get everybody roll initiative roll. I rolled a six. Uh, I roll clicked 20. my code token, but <laughs> I got a seven. So I'm gonna uh, type I didn't click manually. my character. My apologies. <laughs> I, got I don't know why my double clicked, but it's an 11. It does yeah. that. So using uh. speech as a free action while the DM <laughs> gets everything in order. Yeah, feel free. Um, Dorian's going to say. <laughs> Dorian's going to say, "Focus on the fancy one. That's the dangerous one." Uh, don't worry. I know. Fought these guys before. Ah, hate them. <laughs> Stupid gold. Well, oof, that's real bad. <laughs> what? <coughs> Their initiative is a three. Oh. I, oh. <laughs> so you're saying we have a small chance. All right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that. that... Darian, you're old to six, not a seven. Damn it. Uh, so Isaac, you are up first. Um, we're going to Alrighty. see how this all goes. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> so like the moment he the moment he notices that uh that there's enemies around and after getting cucked by Kenley. <laughs> He, uh, <laughs> you stole my kill. He, he rushes over as quickly as he can. I'm assuming I can get right next, like about there, or is it too much? Um, that's gonna be too much. You okay. got 45 feet of speed, so that's gonna get you. Um, that's 30. Six, seven. That can get you like there. Yeah, like, so you can detect the there, here, that kind of space, but it's not gonna get you all the way there. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> how, much, how much space is there between uh, me and this guy? Uh, you got a t full 10 foot gap between you. It's, it's 15 feet to attack him. Okay, so I only have, and I would only have a 10 foot range. Yeah. Okay. Then I, got, I, guess I got what you were asking for. <laughs> okay. Then I guess I'll go with this guy. And, uh, Fangs of the Fire Snake. So let me click that key thing. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Why do I have four oh. of these? Didn't I only use one last time? You may not have cleared them from when you took a sh for the last time you rested. Okay. Cause I don't um, think you, I don't think you burned a bunch of them the last. Yeah, I only remember. I remember. I remember using the one to burn the guy. Yeah. I'll just unclick them then. Well, I keep two because one from last time didn't rest. Mm -hmm. T, but that wasn't really rest. And then this click. Okay, yeah, two. Uh, Fangs of the Fire Snake. So that's your <clears throat> attack. Why? Yeah. And bludgeoning damage will be fire damage instead. And it's an extra 1d10 fire on top <laughs> once you roll that attack. Stop. Here we go. Fire strike. Okay, that hits. That's wow, you rolled high on the damage, too. Uh, I need you to roll a 1d10 for your fire damage. So I go over to this. Uh... Mm. <clears throat> Oh wow, nice. Max that out. Uh, so that is 20 fire damage to this particular person. They are <laughs> substantially scorched. <laughs> fire involves nice. them. They're still up, but they are burned to hell and back again. Um, anything else? Or you... Do I have any other attacks that I can do? Uh, double check for you. You should have, um... Fire uh, blows? Well, you should get two attacks. Um, yeah, like, yeah, two you, attacks. You, you get to do that again. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll use the flurry of blows. Uh, no, you just the regular one again. Okay. It would be an extra oh. key point to do... Fury of blows on top of it. So that kills him. He's dead. Oh damn! You crit, you, you critted. Um, you murderer. With with all the fire and everything, he is super dead. Uh, may have underestimated this slightly. Thought I had the drop on you, and then uh, blew that. And uh, yeah. You done See. goofed. I mean, what do you expect when you have a teenage boy ready to kill anything that comes across his path? <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Taro, you are up. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to double move my <laughs> fancy self. Yep. I will move all the way to here. Actually, technically, I can move to there in 60 feet, so I'll just do that. And that's my turn. Okay. Yeah, that... Yeah, okay. Um, so this one is dead. They're on... So, Vanessa, you are up. Uh, 
We're gonna hunters mark the fancy man. And then we're gonna peg him full of arrows. Okay. You are gonna have to sidestep to get line of sight. Because there's the big mechanism in your way. Are you using that new bow? I'm reading the new bow, but yes, I will be using it. Let's read this quick, I'm sorry. I've been like overheated because it's like 92 in the room, so I haven't really moved. Alright, so there's the game. So I'm gonna make a range attack, you can ask Grantress. So she, yeah, she's gonna look at this fancy man, as it was called out. She's going to say aloud, no folks, gapes my fury, and use her command word for the weapon. She is going to peg this man. <laughs> right. Has he been? Has he taken any damage already? No, not nope. yet. No. Okay. Ooh. Okay, that will hit. And then. He... <laughs> nice. I, I, I want to hear a description of what this bow looks like when it's used. Well, just make sure we to... all the damage. I need the tax <laughs> records of it, too. Yes, the census <laughs> data and the uh, merchant record. Good grief. So there's the hunter's mark damage. Oh, nice. wow. It, three, and it only got seven damage out of it. That's, that's surprisingly low. Um, okay, so you draw out this bow and um, start to reach for an arrow to knock but as you draw the string you see a arrow of sparkling light appear on the bow ready to be fired um, oh that's dope and as you draw back to full you hear the bow whisper to you in celestial and you respond back with the appropriate command word to mark this person as your sworn enemy and you release the arrow and it over isaac's shoulder into the uh, magey looking gentleman and it immediately sinks in and the, the light dissipates as soon as it makes contact with him and hits him for 16 damage. Quite, Woo! quite nice. And then I will fire my second shot. No, sorry, rather about the three for 100. Poof. Oh yeah! Holy fuck! That's Jesus. cool. Okay. Hell yeah! <laughs> yeah. Nice. That, that is a thing. Okay. Well, 3D, this three D six. This three D sixes are low though. Damn. Yeah. Um. So yeah. <coughs> Five plus three for the crit, plus seven for the three d six, plus one for the one d eight from Colossal Slayer, which crit with an eight, so that's uh nine and eight seventeen, twenty four. Did you roll Hunter's Mark again? Hunter's no, Mark. No, you gotta roll Hunter's Mark too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. For two more. Hey, it's worth. Holy crap. Nice. What kind of bow did you give? To her? Okay. A, a bow. A, I gave a bow. I gave her a bow with string. Yeah. <laughs> Wood and string. It does it does stuff. It does stuff. Uh so then Lucy, you are up. Okay. Uh, I guess she'll get right up that person, get advantage, cause Taro is Getting him flanked, and she's gonna smack him. 
rah, with her longsword and righteous fury. <laughs> uh, hold on, I gotta set up a goal for Dealing with advantage. advantage. You don't want to smote him too? I mean, I could, but like, which? <laughs> just, just grab him by the back of the head and shove his face into the glowing sphere. <laughs> or, or, or uh, not make the glowing sphere angry. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Okay. Hey, you so... should bonk the sphere with the, the, the stick. Yes! <laughs> Recharge those three ah. shells up to ten. I, it's been too long since I've done it. Okay, so I can, if I bonus cast it first, then that means that next two attacks I made are going to be able to smite him, right? If that just, hits. I think it's just the one next attack, not both. Not yeah, the attacks. next time you hit a creature with a eh, attack during the spell's duration, your weapon flares with top. Da -da -da. He has an extra uh, 1d6. On a successful save the spell. And when it fail saves, it takes 1d6 damage. Okay. Uh, let's do. No. Just one. Level one. Smite. Okay. Bonus action. Gonna cast Searing Smite. If I hit that, is it gonna pop the goddamn thing? Or is it gonna do it and roll the thing? There's your. Uh, okay. Uh, Searing smite, I... and then go ahead and make your attack. Rush R. On the twenty. That's a seventeen to hit. Or do I need a roll with the blade? No, oh, roll, roll with the blade. <laughs> oh, sorry. I thought it was just like. God damn it! Roll twenty. Stop it. <laughs> damn. Twenty. Well, it rolled both attacks. <laughs> yeah. So um. Both of those get through. <laughs> um, you, you one handing because you got your shield on, right? Uh, yep. Okay. Gets the shield out. Nah, 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 nah. Boop. Oh. Um. Anyway. Um. So yeah. So you rolled your longsword. That one got through. Nine damage for the one hand. Constitution save of thirteen. Uh, they failed. Well, I need a re. Well, it rolled the d six. It, so it five rolled, fire it rolled fives. damage. Yeah. Yeah, five fire damage. And they are on. Fire. They are now on fire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So nine, so, then eleven, so twenty damage, twenty-five damage. Yep. You alive, are smoked. But he is very unhappy. <laughs> um, it is his turn, so he will <laughs> extinguish himself. Oh. Uh, Hopefully, they uh, only had one action. Oh no! I'm about to make a Constitution saving so On a failed save, they take. They don't get to extinguish themselves, it's a con save. Uh, oh! They may not save. So. Wait. Oh. If the target is Nope, when... they do. They, they manage yeah. to if the um, target... succeed and extinguish the fire. Uh, nice. So, they... Uh, <laughs> but they still use it? Well, it says if they use a, an action, they can put it out. Uh, towards the end, I think. That somebody else can do that. Oh. Like, I, you, you could run up and put somebody else's fire out, or they can <laughs> con save to put themselves out. Um, yeah. So, yeah, they are extinguished. Um, no longer on fire, but they are very much burnt by everything that you've just done. And um, seeing the other priest drop dead and everything that's transpired with the arrows into the lead looking person <laughs> they're gonna go ahead and take a long <laughs> shot and uh <clears throat> cast dispel magic on the I'm, I'm sorry i'm sorry what are they trying to do <laughs> oh fuck you <laughs> oh damn yep they're He's casting right. a spell right next to yeah, you yeah they're, they're casting a spell right next to you um because i forgot that you have a thing that does that. And they don't know that you have a thing that does that. Uh, and... Oh, not one. No, Swing and a miss. 
It's you okay, Taro. It. You'll be a big boy one day. <laughs> uh, which one are you swinging at? <laughs> sure, whichever gonna... one, anyone that was casting. It doesn't matter. Who. Which one was he... casting? Yes, it does matter because if it's the green one, you have advantage. Oh. Oh, she, she said counter spell, so it'd be this guy. No. Or dispel. It was no, the, the one the... that you have flanking on. Oh. Fuck yeah! Is it I an need advantage? to reroll. Nice save. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I Does suppose it? you Does still it? get you still get flanking even on a reaction. Nah, that's only it still misses. <laughs> Rip. At least, at least it's not a fail. All right, all right, Taro, you're supposed to hit them with your pointy sword, not your oh. pointy nose. Oh, <laughs> bro. So the um, <laughs> dispel magic, the priest rolled a nat twenty. Mm. So oh, fuck me. They are going to manage to muster the energy to pop one of these bubbles somehow, some way. I did not expect that to work. It was an act of desperation. Um, there is another yeah, big quake, and the lava dims a bit more, and um, he's barely clinging to life, but he has successfully popped one of the bubbles. What kind of saves do we got to roll? Uh, okay. Dexterity to stay on your feet from the earthquake. I get a 17. Oops, I rolled with it. Well, whatever. I I'm on my roll. butt. I'm on my butt. Y'all on your butt. Well, I don't know if I save on the 17. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why did you um, send again? No idea why it sent again. But Lucy and Isaac are on their feet. Everyone else has fallen down. Lovely! Uh, Dorian, it is <laughs> your turn. You are on the basically direct opposite side of the bubble yep. from everyone I, else. I stand and up side. and use my movement to go there, and that's the end of my turn. <laughs> yeah, that happened. Rip. <laughs> Thing. Yep, it happens. So oh. it is this fine looking leader type person's turn. They are going to attempt to cast a spell, but you already used your reaction. So, so I didn't say anything. Calm down. Boom. <sighs> Works for once. Um, I'm excited. I'm winning. <laughs> He's going to cast Dispel Magic. Uh, Roll the nat two. So they're not going to pop a bubble. Way to go, little priest. Way to go, okay. fail on the big guy. I was um, probably swung and miss anyway, so it's fine. That's yeah, it. So that's um, going to roll back around to Isaac's turn. And after Shit, the earth boy. earthquake here, <laughs> um, Jesus. Kinley, go ahead and roll initiative <coughs> for me. Let me get you uh, onto the. <laughs> Comes in, shoot, shoots the guy in the face. <laughs> got it. She got to get into position first. Can't shoot through the bubble. Yeah. Right. I mean, you yeah. can, but you're just gonna damage it. Trick shot. Curb the bullet. <sighs> yeah, I know David would like that one. Yes. I love that movie. Mm hmm. Hi. Hi. Okay. Hi. Um, so, Kinley, you feel that earthquake as you're working your way back down to the tunnel here and you're like oh shit, and start hauling ass yeah. and you come into where you're at right now and when it gets to your turn you'll be able to enter into the initiative order oh sorry uh so isaac it was your turn um I got carried away and skipped over you i get right here does that count as flanking uh yes all right yeah, you get advantage on your attacks. Woo. So, first things first. <laughs> I definitely have to reactivate uh, Fangs of the Fire Snake, correct? Uh, yes, it's a per turn. Okay. All right. Reactivating that. Doing my first attack with the unarmed strike. Mm -hmm. Nice. That hits. And uh, then one d10 for the extra damage. So that's eleven damage. 
Uh, I sent you a message, by the way, Dungeon Master. I know. Okay. I uh, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> uh. I just want to grab the guy and go. Who do you work for? I was like, I remembered, and then I stopped and, and thought if I actually did remember or not. Like, no, no, I did. I, I, counted, I accounted for all of that. The attack action, right? Hmm? That, that was, that's my attack action? Uh, you get two, two attacks per single attack action, so you get one more of those. Oh, so then if I wanted to use Flurry of Blows, would I use that next, or would I use that after the second attack? After, After the second one. Okay, then. I'm going to use the second unarm strike. Don't forget to roll that at advantage, because you're flanking. Well, you don't, I don't you know don't how need to do that. that. A freaking <laughs> 24. Yeah. Um, We'll show you how to toggle that on so it does it automatically for you. But um, that will hit. You can roll your d10 for the fire damage. Ooh. And then Flurry of Blows would be, um, you'd spend another key point, and then you'd get to roll the Flurry of Blows attack. Twice. One. The 1d10 again? Can't you just click on the flurry of blows thing and just no? Yeah, it won't do a double though. It's the same thing. Mm. Um. <laughs> okay, roll one more time because that you have advantage and that misses. Sorry. Oh. Okay, there's your crit. Nice. Um, <laughs> didn't crit for and then roll your one d10. Guys got all this physical damage. Bringing it here. Uh, Kinley, you're up. All right. Oh. Er, no, I'm sorry. I did it again. I got, I, we got carried you away. You skipped Taro. I, yeah, Taro, you're up before Kinley. You don't even count. <laughs> I'm not don't a real even, boy. Don't even matter. Nope. <laughs> well, maybe if you're pointing Katana, you could still target. Down. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, there's that option, or instead, not. Yeah, that hits. And that's going to be on the big boy. Uh-huh. Obviously. I'm curious, how much damage did I do? A lot. Um, <laughs> ac across across the four attacks, um, I have to go back and double count it, but it was... 20. Oh, so just to ig ignore, ignore the second on the two-handed 47 across the four attacks it looked like i'm just doing the i mean effect. unless it's a fiend 16 plus 17 33 what huh what what uh, I, I do a total of 26 Lightning added. 10 is lightning added. What? I have, I'm sorry. I have completely lost track of what the hell you it, just did. It, his weapon rolled the fiend damage. It automatically so said, does it. But so, I don't he know said, it. so he said ignore the fiend damage. So he did yeah, 7 plus is... 9, then 10 plus 7. Normal no. damage. No, no, no. Right? No, no. Oh, no, no. No. One's one handed, the other's two handed. Yeah, oh. no. That's just 9 plus 7 So plus it's 10. 16 plus 10, 26. Oh, two attacks. okay. Because you did the lightning. Didn't you yes. use those up already? No, that the the rights just... I can activate it and just give my, harm myself 
a D6. It's, oh, they, they never run out their permanent okay. enchantments. It's, I, it's, them off. it's the, the mutagens are the ones that you have? Yes. The use limits? Okay. We'll, I will learn this class eventually. We'll learn it together. Um, so he's going to die. Because um, his <laughs> spell resistance didn't save him from Isaac and Taro. <laughs> um, Unfortunately. So sad for him. Um, well, so you, seem, you seem sad because you wanted us to die. You kind of had it coming at this point. I should have thrown more at you. Could have thrown more yeah. at you. But I was like, eh, it is, they're, just, they're assuming that the place is left unguarded. Why would you still be hanging around for four and a half hours? Like a bunch. Of... For a bunch of hobos. We have no place to go. Yeah, something first, like that. First roof over our head we've ever had. So, Kinley, you're up, finally. Um, unless there's anything else you want to squeeze into that turn there, Tara. Was he trying to try to bullet. Curve the bullet. Curve the bullet. I'm sorry. Uh, hello, Discord. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with Discord tonight. Yeah, Discord is being very funky. <laughs> well, that took Jesus. forever to reconnect. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right, so let's see how far I can even get. I know the feels, bruh. I know the feels. Curve the bullet. Curve the bullet. Uh, you curve can, the. You can double moving as far as I can get. Nah, you gotta curve the bullet. You blow all your grit points to curve a bullet, and then you attack with disadvantage. Don't think I had that ability. Nope. Yet. We'll we work on it. We'll make it. We'll make it happen sometime. We'll invent. We'll invent homing bullets eventually. No, oh, no, 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 no. They're not homing <laughs> bullets. It homing. takes skill to curve a bullet. No, no homing bullets. It takes no skill to shoot a homing bullet. Well, it took, okay. takes skill to shoot the gun. No, it or it just really does. Pull it off the floor and the roof and make it hit the target. Ooh, now we're talking oh. real. We're talking lightning, <laughs> lightning strikes with R with R mirrors. Ricochet like bounce it off this wall and then bounce it off this wall and then put it in the back of his head. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, that twenty for that. Fuck. I can tell you right now, the one thing you absolutely don't want to do is fire that bow at that dome in an attempt to ricochet. Cause, uh, 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 uh. Um, it's gonna still magic. Do it. No. Um, Roll in that one and blow up the entire dome and kill us all. Do it. Go. Yeah. That, uh, End the campaign right now. Well, it's well. it's it's your turn, so. Uh, uh, As lava pours it. in through the hole <laughs> that you blew in the dome, <laughs> so, everyone so. screams in fiery so agony. God glasses that week. <laughs> Glad I have fire resistance. <laughs> you do. You I have don't. To put the suit back on. <laughs> so you only take was it five five d ten instead of ten d ten for being oh, yeah. immersed but then, in lava. <laughs> but, but then I then I also have my my mutagen until I take a short rest. Uh, I have I'm vulnerable to cold, but I'm is it resistant to fire? Okay, really? so so I'm taking even the... half of that. The special effect on the bow can only be done once every seven days? Uh, it's once per seven days or the day after the person dies. So you can't do it again until okay. you, you sleep once, essentially. All right. That's all I want to know. So we'll yeah. disregard the 3d6 damage on these rolls then, correct? Correct. All right. Well, she's going to take two shots at this man. Has he been injured? Yes. Yes. Pretty bad. Very much so. He's bleeding out of his butthole. 
I back smote him. Back to the sphincter. I smote him good. That's 14 on the first roll because of the colossal seven. After he's dead, you can investigate to see if it was tattooed or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're back to that topic. So he no. is now now also dead. So does that mean her charge recharges twice as fast? Is it per kill or just the person she's sworn dies to die? Just the, the person sworn, sworn person dies. Yeah. Um. And died. Mm-hmm. Um, dun, 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 so everybody's dead. Kinley did not got not get to steal the glory this time. Uh, yeah. How's that feel, Kinley? <laughs> huh? How's it feel? I'm highly You're disappointed. Yeah. I'm highly You're disappointed. Useless in again. D Dorian's gonna finish walking around the circle, see the dead ones, and just like, hmm. But there's now two, two bubbles left. Ah. Stupid cultists. Oh, I, loot, look I, loot through, I loot through the big cultist. And Dorian will look toward Kinley as she comes running in. Where's your reinforcements? They're on the way. They're behind me. Yeah. It's a long with, trip well, down here. <laughs> well, hopefully it's significant since we just handed off another attack. As much as I can, can get I right now with the whole city on fire. So a group of eight guards um <laughs> descend down and like follow up behind like <laughs> drop in mm -hmm. tokens for you but eight eight guys show up and they're like uh this this is a, you want us guarding this thing yes with your lives <laughs> can we make a vicious attack on the dead body of the main guy oh my god guys <laughs> no what well, well, well that's happening <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Dorian is is going to beeline over toward Vanessa, almost like Isaac did to him, and get all up in her personal space, and be like, "Why did you get that bow?" Uh, Don't let him lick it, Vanessa. Don't you let him lick it. <laughs> <laughs> what? From the mystical drug pile that everyone else apparently knows about. What? Do I hear that? <laughs> exactly. Do I hear that? <laughs> well, I mean, he's not wrong. That was... What? <sighs> I, want what I want what they're taking. <laughs> well, if he's you stick around, going to you're... back away suspiciously. Did, did Taro said that out loud? To what? Like I want what they're getting. No. The Why the said? fuck? No. Why the fuck would I want to be on drugs? I don't fucking know. Are you calling me a drug addict? Yes. Nope, that's only it. Well, you're not wrong. <laughs> <sighs> So after getting that answer and backing away suspiciously, or backing away like suspecting Vanessa's very suspicious and shady at the moment, Dorian's gonna look toward the guards taking up their positions and he's gonna say, Well, I suppose I'm no longer needed here. Good day. And start making his way toward the exit. Oh, you're just gonna leave. Great. I as, as you're trying to leave, I'm definitely going to try to... Dorian, we we definitely need to have a talk before you leave, though. Or before you leave town. He's going to look over his shoulder, and he's going to say, I'm not stopping you from following. Well, guys, good luck on your... Dome protection task thing you're doing. You're doing a mighty fine job but without us. Christ. Mm. Uh, I don't know if this is... Mm. 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 Oh, you're 
just gonna leave like that. Mm. I mean, to be fair, out of character, nobody's given us a reason to stay. I know. <laughs> so. Well, and well, also dude, in character, she's also been nothing but disdainful and hostile towards us, so. Yeah, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, yeah, whoa, didn't even whoa. Ask politely or anything. <laughs> Who started the disdainful distrust towards us, okay? Because I can I sure guarantee did. you it wasn't me. I and sure it wasn't did Dorian. And sure wasn't me. It's true. It's true. Isaac over oh. here is the only one that's been nice to us. Well, you actually, he's been nice to I've been neither, actually, no, I've been neither nice or mean to you, uh, you guys. <laughs> actually, Isaac started the disdain by getting well, all up in Dorian's grill and invading his personal space to begin with. But then he, <laughs> then, then you drank the man's tea, so it's like you're apologizing. You're accepting his apology. Yeah. Then that crazy hunter lady's talking about drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Dangerous world we're living in now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, definitely gonna be heading toward the exit. <sighs> I guess Taro in tow. What? I... Hmm. I'm not sure what we should do here. You can stop to, to oh. protect this until they can get more guards besides these down here. I'll, I'll, I'll call over my shoulder. Uh, yes. Uh, where should I send my bill? <laughs> I wouldn't respond. Genius free. You only get a, to send a bill if you stick around. <laughs> I mean, I, I, thank you for your public service. Because she did stay dead beforehand the first time you brought it up. She did say, if you stick around, you get a piece of the information and a piece of the bill. I feel so like they're, gonna... they're, 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 they're trying to like tug us along here into to their fiasco they're they're running on here i know god damn it they He's seem fine. to want information but being completely unwilling to share it themselves i don't see any type of equal partnership in that capacity i don't Bitch, know what no, was... spilled the fucking beans with you no, no nor do i like the fact that um some of them seem to be uh in possession of things that I don't think they should be in possession of. Drugs. Yes, drugs. <laughs> and I'll just well, wink at you. <laughs> don't smoke the crack. Yes, kids, never smoke the crack. <laughs> you'll, you'll just see kind of a smirk as you as you say that and wink at him, and he's, you know, I think we're gonna get along quite well, Taro. Oh. Also, as we're walking out, uh down the tunnel I uh, just wanted to let you know uh, I went through Bella's place I happened to find um, this I'll just pull out a teleportation scroll from my bag <laughs> oh well, that's quite handy can get you anywhere on this island but not off of it you could try to teleport off the island <laughs> bounce off the inside of the dome and fall <laughs> to your death hundreds of feet yeah, you're not on the outside where you can just slide down it. You're on the inside where it's just like, ah, <laughs> Maybe I get lucky and I'm on the side where Soga's, Soga's b b body of water's in. Yeah, yeah. If you get lucky. Or I could land in the swamp area. That's fine. <laughs> so I guess as we're making our way further out, so, Taro, you had questions? Um... About the things that I saw earlier that the others didn't quite get a chance to see. You mean the hallucinations brought on by releases of massive amounts of radiant energy? No, is more of the longs of the release of sinister energy and growing a pair of big black wings. You don't hmm. look very vampire-like, so the wing growing thing is kind of... Leaning me towards, um, I got a sinister background. A sinister background. 
I mean, I suppose I could say the same with, you know, you cutting yourself to draw power with blood magic. Fair. My art, I, 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 infli I inflict sinister energy to take care of sinister problems. Is that the same for you, or the reverse? Well, if I was trying to call something sinister, why would I be saving that instead of helping take it down? I mean, who says you actually aren't? Isn't the best way for them to leave is if we all leave and then exposed but it, later? But it was my idea to stay back and guard it to begin with. True. But you were also the one... Oh, I didn't get to see that, did you? Well, I didn't see it when you touched touched it, did you? No. Okay. I was going to use that as leverage. <laughs> yeah, I very specifically <laughs> walked around it and touched it. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's just say, fr from my sinister abilities, I have undefinite answers of what you have abilities of but my companion here tapping my sword does not agree that you are a fiend or in the realms of it but you see him look extremely offended when you <laughs> when you <laughs> kind of mention him being a fiend but i tend to trust my sword with my life so you you are quite not a fiend but i am Definitely not a fiend. I am the furthest thing from a fiend that you could possibly imagine. I have never heard of... And he's going to roll his eyes. A celestial growing black wings and releasing dark magic. Who said I was a celestial? Well, one says the opposite of a fiend. One assumes a, a celestial. I suppose you could come to that conclusion. For all you know, I'm a black dragon. Mm, you must be a very young dragon then, for how much power you put out. I thank you. So, what kind of hordes do you have? Oh, <clears throat> if I told you that. I'd have to kill you. He kind of smirks at you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Needless to say, Taro, I understand your suspicions. But answers are not something that I'm willing to give right now. But you can rest assured I have no ill intent towards you or anyone else in this in the natural world. So you seem to, to perk up at the whole uh, talk of generals earlier. What the hell is that about? Is it just leaders of this cult thing that we're dealing with? Something like that. Well, I can tell you right now, there absolutely is no g general in the cult army that is as terrifying as fiends I've seen in the past. Hmm. <laughs> I hope you don't scare easily. It's always a first, I guess. Well, I think you owe me a drink. And you'll just... I, hap I happen to have the fun for that. And you'll just hear like a little clink in my extra pouch <laughs> that I've acquired as well. <laughs> Thorian's bladder. Jesus, just had tea. <laughs> uh, so, uh, let us go find a place that's still standing and uh, talk some is, more over some ale. It is a, it is bad out there. You might not have seen it yet, but I have. They got hit hard. I can only imagine. I would say we would probably have better luck above ground, 
rather than subterranean. Agreed. I hear there's some fantastic pastries over in. <laughs> I'm not much of a man for sweets, but uh, I do know of a good stand that sells some great meat on a stick. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Hit, hitting all the greatest hits, huh? Um, but, but, um. As far as, uh, those keepers are concerned, we're pretty insignificant in the scheme of things. They tend to, uh, Stick to their rather outdated and brutish imperial ways. As you may have noticed, egos, not willing to share information, demanding things from you, exploiting, dead you ex exploiting you for their own means without uh, any consideration of Payment. Dorian, how knowledgeable are you on uh, the the effects of wounds on a body, Sir Black Dragon, that you might be? Because <laughs> uh... I can tell you that no one has really inspected Bella's body to the extent of by what the young paladin lady said earlier that did not respond to being revived, which strikes me as rather odd. As I said, if you're killed by a demon, the chances is your soul may not be applicable to be returned to your body. And it did take her hammer. Perhaps there is a soul bonding or something like that in effect or it could come down simply to it she decided nope I think I'm done I'm just did gonna she... enjoy the afterlife does she seem like the type though <sighs> so you're saying outwardly, that's outwardly no Though, keepers have surprised me in the past with their cowardice. <laughs> so, as you leave having this conversation, the people lingering behind, what are you getting up to? Um, Nah. <coughs> I guess organizing the frickin' yeah, organizing soldiers the around. Soldier, telling him what to do, you know, to basically prep the room. Um, fill it full of water. <laughs> no. Fill it full of water. We, I'm pretty sure dispel has is a, vo a verbal component, right? Probably. Boom! Unless they already have water breathing activated. And uh, hang out as long as we can, see if any more reinforcements come down to, so we can get a bigger guard in this room. <sighs> or throw them that we need as much as possible down here. Yep, yeah, probably. Lucy's probably gonna want to talk about the uh, Taru and Dorian being there and like saving the day and. Probably not wording it like that because she's a bit annoyed still because you know it's Lucy <laughs> she gets annoyed easily okay so um oh what were, what were what? you doing Isaac Isaac's gonna take a walk to the opposite end of the corridor to where it 
meets up with solid ground again? Yeah, to okay. the to where that little like that mechanical piece is. Uh huh. Yeah, he's gonna take a look, a walk down there, cause he had, it, nothing else has happened so far. All his other people are here, and no one's been over there yet. He's kind of curious. Okay. Um, we'll handle that here in just a second. For you. Okay. Um, so you spend some time down here, you coordinate these guards, you kind of fill them in on what to expect in terms of a threat. You can't really predict how big of a threat, given the variance that you've seen, but at least, like, it's going to be spellcasters, they're going to be nasty, they're going to be throwing shit at you, blah, blah, blah. Um, meanwhile, Isaac kind of quietly moseys himself down to far end of this hallway, down here to this mechanism. Uh, that's what you were hoping to take a look at. thing um, you work your way down to where this is and see that the mechanism is um, basically coming from up above is a vertical spinning what looks like it would spin bit that then gets right angled to rotate this way and rotate the mechanism at the that's built around the bubbles. So it basically right angles the momentum coming from the machines up above and the center shaft is what sends the electricity back up through like the center of the spinning Do you notice anything specific around here? Uh, your perception's pretty high. You don't really pick up anything of a special interest. Um, it's mostly just the mechanism taking up this space. I understand mechanics that well. <laughs> Isaac would probably, but... This is going over my head like the like basically this is the thing that was taking energy from the from the bubble thing from the from the pillar and giving the electricity. Yep. Yeah, it this it basically there's a spinning bit around the bubbles. Uh -huh. Right, that's spinning um spinning this way. And when it reaches this mechanism, the gears turn that m momentum vertically so it can connect to the big giant turbine that you passed on your way in here um, which is spun by steam in order to make that circuit work. It's what spins everything. After coming here, Isaac have a general understanding of how of maybe not how the machine works but how the energy gets from over there to here. Mm -hmm. To the rest, okay. Um, with that said, uh, Isaac will go back and tell tell them what he found out when when however long that takes. I don't know if it's I don't I don't I, however long you think that would take. Okay. Um, takes you a little while, but um, eventually you kind of make the inferences and connections and remembering the different things that you've seen in the different places and sort of orienting everything spatially and you're like oh okay um as you start to make your way back towards the rest of the group another s squad of eight guards come down similar to the first um and they kind of meet you at this point here before <coughs> sort of follow following you back into the other space So, oh, I'm lovely more reinforcements. Yeah. Which I should have before I copied Isaac. Um, I'll, another eight, right? Another four sort of swordsmen and four archers come into the room. They let you know that um, 
you know, with everything, they've gotten upper umlot pretty much under control. The combat is over. The fires are under control. Things are calming down there. But the rescue effort in umlot proper has only just begun. Uh, they're dig digging people out of houses and all that kind of nastiness uh, from all of the earthquakes and things. It was exacerbated when mid-rescue another earthquake went off and that obviously hindered things quite a bit. Um, they'd love to get this power plant running again so they can get the elevator working, but um, that's no, no, no. <laughs> going to be a, a debate, a hot debate for sure. Yeah. Um, with you guys but um they let you know that you know we'll we'll have at least two squads down here and we'll we'll try to bolster it as much as we can beyond that but obviously the rescue effort has to be central we need to save as many people as we can yeah uh yes of course but if you don't want these rescue efforts hindered you have to protect this which as you see was the cause of earthquakes so if you protect this no more earthquakes simple right i think so it's plain and simple your rescue efforts up there are going to be meaningless if you let this fall or if you mess with it any longer <laughs> um yeah so i mean they if you want to go and talk to our commander and try to press the case, you're more than welcome. You know, we're told to come down here. We're down here. We're going to do everything we can to guard it. Um, but I suppose we could uh, pay a visit to this commander of yours. And Lucy kind of looks at Kenny like, you want to do this or you want to stay here? Uh, well, <laughs> kind of look. Stay here for a few more hours, make sure they don't come back try another another attempt today and yeah that's a good idea <sighs> we're gonna whenever we come back though we should probably discuss about mm, the strange aid we got today uh, what do we really call it strange I mean I don't know who they are but other than that, where they are and why they were down here. Um, Obviously, we'll get into detail later once we're in private. Yeah, if we find them again, who knows where they went. Oh, you want to find them again? If we're going to find out what what the hell they were doing here, we kind of have to. <sighs> How are we supposed to do that? The city's quite large. Uh, how many bars are still open? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did we hear that part? No. You're buying the drinks. Was said out loud. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I suppose we could hit the few bars that are probably still open. Yeah, probably After. Well, they talked about getting drinks, so. That they did. So, gotta keep chattering along, surveying the area for a couple hours, I suppose, mm -hmm. and then head up. Um, right. During the 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 hours period, Isaac would have told Kenley and Lucy about what he what he what he discovered with the uh, mechanics. Mm -hmm. The the basics of the mechanism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Must have been how they powered the whole city with yeah, yeah. the pillar. That doesn't surprise me at all. How are we supposed to get them to stop doing that? Who knows? Because it's can. probably. I'm not sure. I doubt it. Okay. Um... Who knows if the device is even going to work after what happened? Hmm. Yeah. That's true, um, might not have enough energy. So let's go ahead and take our usual break here um, for 10, just 10 minutes. And um, we'll be back to kind of. We'll be back, everybody. 10 minute break. Resolve things a little bit.
Yay! See y'all when we get back. Yay.
Yeah. All right, everybody, we are back. Yay, we're back. Hello. Oh, wait. Hello. No, you're not Brentley. <laughs> There's no mind player it... in this campaign yet. Do you see? Oh, wait. Uh. Should I continue talking right quick? I don't know what to... I'm looking at. What are you doing? I, 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 I got new things on this thing that comes up at the side here. And it oh, it has like quantity. Wait, I think I hit darts. Okay, that's why. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. Nope, you're fine. It's all, we're all on a learning curve. <laughs> all right, so yes. did that roll? That did not roll. Yeah. Oh, it comes up on it comes up on yes. on on roll twenty. Yes. Okay. Okay. So I would click that and then submit. Okay, I see how to do it now. Yay! Okay. GG. <laughs> Mailed it. You got this. Uh, all right. All right. Let's get back into this madness. Yeah. So. um... <laughs> Yeah, after a few more hours, it seems like no more attacks are coming, though you have no way of really knowing for sure if that's true. They could just be yeah. biding their time. It's hard to know, hard to see. Yeah, we, you we know. don't know what's going to happen. Our demon's going to come back and help them out next time. Or Yeah. It's... We, we can only stay as long as we possibly can, get as much reinforcement as we can down there in the meantime. And... We still gotta. Lucy would probably remind you that we still have to find the uh, Taro and uh, Dorian before they vanish. Yeah. I mean, I can vanish whenever I want. I got a teleportation scroll. Yeah, but we don't know that. Mm -hmm. Yes. They seem I fine. Just, next They've time been you guys walk up and I see you, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, pop it and I'm gone. <laughs> yeah, and I can literally <laughs> be like, screw these guys and jet. Yeah. What? <laughs> um, Lu Lucy can chase after you with her wings for a minute. Yeah. Wait, you get them for longer? Jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous. So you accumulated three squads worth of soldiers down here to protect the last two bubbles. Okay. Um, can we fill them a in few more everything, you know. Uh, in case the you know surround the bubble, make sure this this center area make sure it's protected. Warn them that they're gonna they're likely to teleport yes. in and that they're spellcasters. Okay, all that get, kind of stuff. If you guys can get any tele any casters down here to to ward the area, spell so the no, bubble so no one can teleport in. That would be good. That would be great. We do it what we have. Yeah, we can work with what we got. So. Yes, the last bastion defending the city of Umlaut. Quite literally. Well, good luck. And then I. Well. Lucy's gonna start heading out by this point because they've spent like what a day in the bubble near the bubble the vast majority of a day yeah yeah so it's time to head out and... yeah so they've been warned they got told what to do what they should expect well, we've done all we can so at this point mm. Yeah, um, they do let you know as far as casters go. That's something that you're going to have to get requisitioned. Um, they're reiterating their spread thin. Uh, most of the casters okay. are shoring up everything else in all the other... Like, they're, they're, the whole city is in shambles. Um, I, I, which you, I you understand saw, so. the city is in shambles. I will talk to whoever I need to talk to, and we will try and get this done as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, but you work your way out 
up and out and through the temple and into the streets of a, a, a lot proper, which again, decimated, very much unhappy place to be. You, um, it, sorry, Taro, you mentioned that you stopped by Bella's place to everybody, right? You're uh, to... vague, vague on some of the details, but yes. they caught the gist of it. Okay. Uh, Lucy and Isaac. That's it. Never... Right. Yeah. Um, but they're at least aware of it. So um, you can... Lucy would probably talk in me after some point, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's been quite a few hours down there. You didn't have a whole lot to do other than be on guard. So I would assume that you've mentioned it, but I don't know if you mm -hmm. want to swing by Bella's yourselves and poke at it some. Um <sighs> Not knowing how much or how little he may have found. At this point, I don't expect much to be left there. Magic. Would be mildly curious, but he would he would follow whatever uh, Kenley and Lucy did. He would uh, he would want to go, but he he's not gonna he's not gonna try to force it. Lucy would offer to perhaps have a check after they meet with the other two, but. She's not gonna press it. Press it. <laughs> we could investigate Bella's herself after a meeting with. We can. I don't know if we'll find much of anything. It mm, sounds we like could always the try. Cause us to clear out the most, but we can check it out after we. Uh, I guess find those other two. Well, we both know that she was pretty resourceful, so perhaps she had some means to hide some of her... I don't quite... requests, I assume? Perhaps. What if one of her hammers was made from an invisible sword, so <laughs> it's made invisible? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Perhaps the armor rack had armor, but it was... It was invisible armor! Invisible <laughs> armor. <laughs> Everything ah! invisible. The entire invisible, you know, ar armory. Everything was there, just yep. was invisible. <laughs> Maybe. Congratulations, you guys found the fifth kingdom. Yeah. Oh. Bella hid it from you. <laughs> the whole time. Oh my god. It was in Bella's basement the entire time. It was a celestial armory. <laughs> yep. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, um, where would the two of you like to go and get your drinks up here? There's been, like, the Marselheim district has been, um, yeah, it's been laid asunder, essentially. The major embassy and a lot of the surrounding buildings have been burnt down and or blown up and or destroyed in various degrees of unhappiness. So, hmm. um... Pretty much any of the other districts, you can likely find some semblance of a tavern or a bar open. It's probably most, mostly still chaotic as people are still being evacuated bits at a time from down below, but they're trying to feed people and, and t tend to wounded and all that kind of stuff up here. So there are places open. They're just sort of doing the best they can to take care of the people that are coming out from below. The closest place, would, since the stairs come up in the Forge Hearth part of town, right? Mm -hmm. So probably somewhere in Forge Hearth, the first place we come across, I guess. Okay. So the most busiest, busiest of all places from Bud down below. <laughs> <laughs> Makes total sense. 100%. Hey, when there's a lot of noise... Less people to hear your conversations you're having privately. So there's you guys there. Eventually they'll make their way up, but that will be a little while. So uh, you are in this tavern. It is loud and ruckus. Um, there's a lot of just confusion and people don't know what to make of what the hell has happened between the attacks on this level and the earthquakes destroying down below and the power being out and there, it, it, a lot of rumors are flying a lot of misinformation and guesses and and who knows what else is getting slung around 
uh, around you as you're trying to have your drink. Oh yeah, but but we kind of be sitting there, um, enjoying my drink. Um, Definitely not not exactly offering information unless spoken to, because he's not the type of person to strike up a conversation with just a single other person. Mm -hmm. Um, So he's just kind of like sipping his ale or lager, whatever it is that uh, Taro had purchased for us to drink with his feet in a bucket of water that every now and then he taps with his staff to uh, heat up the water with vomiturgy. Sort of soaking his feet in some hot water. (laughs) Taro is probably going to definitely be drinking to his fill. He has had a long day of blowing (laughs) all of his abilities to go all out hasn't had a rest at all so he's definitely worn out and, and i would say it's probably not subtle at all it's it's very noticeable when you're actually not talking to dorian he's just staring at you almost like a bird would stare at you <laughs> that's, he's just that's... <laughs> his eyes are just like locked on you as he just like sips his drink that's... so dorian what brings you to make my way around eyes perk up likewise actually I'm known for going around town to town solving people's issues Hmm. generally a merchant by trade Do a little bit of side work here and there. Tell me, what was it that drew your interest to that, uh, what did they call it, a power station? His lips kind of twisted like a disgust with the word power station. Hmm. I'm known for fixing problems, and as I was walking around, I noticed a problem of people being assassinated. I was like, well, maybe I could cash in on this opportunity. I see. Still don't fully understand what's going on. Oh, that a fiend is involved, so my perk I would assume at this point more than one well that's what Ezreal thinks anyway I mean me and my companion only noticed one how many more don't I know of sort of shrugs Hopefully, my blade will be quenched of its hunger future. It is a shame what they did to that temple, though. A bit of a history buff. You can say I get at one time, yes. Did you not notice any of the markings or mosaics or sacred writing upon the walls while we were rushing through the mounds of bodies and destroying everything. I mean, I noticed pictures, but every all the wording looked like a bunch of scribble to me. Hmm. I suppose you can say I'm a bit of a history buff. I, uh, have a pet peeve about Knowledge being lost or destroyed. Especially for no good reason. Well, 
Well, for me, history or no. My, my goals tend to be very straightforward, and that is to exercise my abilities to kill the lights. That would be the simplistic form of it, yes. Well, if you want to go with the simplest version, I suppose mine falls along the same line of thinking. Don't get me wrong, there is something I am after, and I will stop at nothing to achieve it. But destroying fiends and demons and cultists align quite well with that goal. Have you encountered any fiends any time recently to where you might know some locations I do have not stumbled upon? Recently, no. In my past, plenty. Are you prone to falling, falling into opportunities? Falling, no. Seeking? Luckily, following my nose to a particular problem, I suppose I can be lucky in that aspect sometimes. Though I must say, your nose looks far more functional than mine. My, my scent is quite strong. <laughs> he, you hear kind of like a clang as he taps the bucket and reheats the water for his feet. Hmm. I'm in need of more resources in my goal. I tend to wander needlessly. I was hoping I could possibly use you as a soundboard or even a resource in acquiring my goal. Hmm. Well, if you feel last lucker, last lucker and list listless. Blah, 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 blah. Did you say lackluster? Yeah. In <laughs> in, in in. I don't even know. In the direction your life is going. I do have some contacts with a few of the guilds that could perhaps provide work and at least one of them could possibly provide leads in a only in a direction that you're looking to go. They can be quite selective to a person's uh, type of work, but it is first come, first serve. Well, I would appreciate a introduction. If I'm not even... I would assume they would have a guild hall here, but... Not tonight. Not while everyone's running around not knowing that we just, you know, had a large part in saving the world from further death, decay, and destruction. It's a thankless job. Unless you're the keepers. <laughs> oh, oh, she just had to throw that out there, didn't you? Uh, you see his eyes <laughs> narrow a little bit. I've never been much for faux theocracy. One thing I have learned is that generally when someone or a group of people take it upon themselves to tell you what's best for you they generally mean what's best for them that is how one controls power you can kind of tell the mention of Keepers has kind of soured his mood again as he goes back into his L. <clears throat> it's 
So how long are you guys going to hang out here for? Um, get just get ballpark of time. We're going to like a couple hours all night long drinking until the dawn. Oh, I'm going to definitely need a rest at some point. That's for sure. Yeah, not, not all night. I would say a few hours at most, just sitting around, relaxing, calming down, having some conversation, feeling out whether or not this person is deserving of my assistance kind of thing. Gotcha. Okay. So we're going <laughs> to, uh, it's, we're going to see how much of a shot they've got to potentially find you guys. Um, so making your way to the surface, finally in search of a few different things, mainly the two of them, but also someone in like trying to get your hands on a forge hearth council member somebody who could appropriate some magic resources to shore things up down below yep um so go ahead and let me get a survival check from vanessa to try to track the two of them down and then the other three of you can make either perception or investigation your preference we're gonna have you sort of like you can ask around you see seen two weird looking dudes what talking to a stick um <laughs> really gonna down your class oh oh Ta taro at some point you would also see him um when he would get coin out of his bag of holding you, you would notice him talking to it as well and telling it what a good bag it is <laughs> yeah yeah you would <laughs> well um, if it makes it you feel probably had to do it better. a couple of times before he actually pulled coins out of the bag. Yeah. I'm, uh. I'm just let, let you know right now, uh, Tara's already labeled you an eccentric, so he's brushing <laughs> it off as just that kind of guy. Gotta love bags of withholding. Okay, so you come up to the surface. Thankfully, they um, decided the best place to get a drink was right here in Forge Hearth's district of Upper Umlot. So um, a, a couple asks around, you know, you've seen the two people, vague description, you know, and they point you pretty straight away in the right direction um, between... Vanessa's sort of tracking skills and your general perception of details and sort of at p picking people for information and things, you find them pretty readily. Um, Tilly sitting... goes, no, it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure they're not over in the library? I think I heard about them going to the library. <laughs> no, that's a that's a bar in Columbus. Um... <laughs> Wrong, wrong town. Oh, but um, you, you broke me. I'm sorry, my brain. <laughs> Got him. It's all, it's all good. Um, so you find them pretty straight away, right? They're sitting in a the bar. They're having drinks, soaking feet in thaumaturgied water, kicking back. You wouldn't even know that there was a natural disaster uh, going on outside. Um, as they're chit chatting away trying to unwind from a very long day of conflict and craziness you stroll yourselves in you are unsuccessful tonight finding anyone from the forge hearth council um there a few of them are completely unaccounted for the others are running around trying to coordinate this rescue effort you just can't seem to nail anybody down from the council on that front it was very poor um but it, yeah, a few of them are actually unaccounted for at the moment, so. Would I see them kind of entering the bar? Um, unless they are trying to be subtle about it, I would say yes. With your passive perception, you'd likely notice the four of them strolling in as a group. Um, like I said, <laughs> unless they intend to try to be sneaky about it, but I don't think that was the... I don't neither, think I can I, even attempt at being sneaky. I'm being neither <laughs> subtle or obvious, so just... Taro? Kinley? I'm... Subtle? Mm. Taro, I'm my new friend. I'll fire a gun. <laughs> Taro, my new friend, I believe we have some stalkers. 
Oh, fuck's sake. The annoying kind or the deadly kind? Definitely the first. And he's just gonna like slowly turn his gaze, not spilling his drink to look towards <laughs> the door. As he turns, he spills his drink. <laughs> you you don't want him to spill his drink. You don't. Tar's an angry drunk. <laughs> oh no. As he turns, he, as he turns, he spills the other table's drink. <laughs> I'll just no. <laughs> dig my bucket again and vomiturgy it again. Okay, how the hell are we doing this? Oh no, Dorian's staring right at you like what? Yeah, no, I'm still. I haven't even looked for them all. You know, is you know, they tell me they're in the barn. I'm gonna go to the. I'm gonna go to the bar. Lucy would look around, see if she can't spot them. Do I have to roll an investigation for that? <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a dude staring right at you, like, <laughs> 45 feet away, just staring at you. Oh, I don't know how... She said there's a lot of people and a lot of stuff going on in the bar, to be fair. Yeah. So, I don't, don't want to be saying, like, the, oh the yeah, mo I, The I'd moment you like do find them, though. There's a dude staring at you. <laughs> like, oh, he's staring right at right at me. If I tap kill me on the shoulder and be like, yeah, he's kind of staring at us. Probably notice us walking in. Obviously. Yeah. I just staring right back. Oh. <laughs> not, 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 I, not, I not. To the bar. It's from that perception check. They're yeah, they're they're making eyes from across the room at each other. Wow! Already so soon. Yeah. Like no, no, he, there's no like no no badness in Isaac's eyes. Nothing like that. No, no killing intent. No, he's just. I see you staring at me. Are you using your Are you using your flirt knives? <laughs> Nothing from no. Dorian like that either. He's just like completely blank expression, staring at you like yeah. what? Yeah. Same. Same with Isaac. <laughs> So we, we got a half Isaac, half Kinley mix in this. <laughs> like, because I don't want to spoil it. Oh, I'm not staring at you guys at all, so. Yeah, Dave, David already knows partially, partially mm -hmm. the idea I have. But it, it, I don't want to spoil it just yet. <laughs> not unless it actually can happen naturally. Uh, Jim, I Jim, just... Jim, 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 Jim. <laughs> <sighs> I just head to the bar, buy drinks for everybody, and bring it over to their table. Waste of the dragon board gold. Yes, because that's gonna oh. that's gonna really put a dig on our hundred and forty thousand gold pieces. <laughs> plus plus three hundred th three thousand six hundred. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think guess better. Lucy would help I carry hope, the glass. Hope nobody ever pickpockets your bag of holding. <laughs> or just swipes the whole bag of holding. That's what I mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> the, 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 yeah. I mean, I could just see, you know, somebody sticking their hand in a bag of holding and going, gold, and then dying from the crushing weight. <laughs> <laughs> we lost six men that day. <laughs> six men. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of pieces of gold, yeah. Yeah. A big chunk right. of it platinum so, so you yeah. just bring the drinks over to the table and set them down yes isn't it generally polite to ask before joining someone at their table may we join up you know what i don't have Your time table? i don't have time for polite niceties and bullshit of course you wouldn't Ah, uh, Kenley, he thinks we're... He, he can think whatever he wants. Ordinary Apparently keepers. he has some some bug up his ass about the Keepers and, and, and the the Empire and thinks we're all the same, so let him believe it, you know, as he wishes. <laughs> A bug, well, yes. He backs away from the hostility with <laughs> Kenley over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
he's just simply sliding away, not too far away, but like he'll. I don't. He'll know. take. He'll take. Yeah, he'll <clears throat> take his left foot out of his uh, bucket of water <clears throat> and just kick <clears throat> one of the chairs out. Not like hard, but just kind of like push it out, like fine, whatever. Noosey's and then put it back sit. in the bucket. <laughs> Noosey's gonna sit on that chair <clears throat> near. Uh, what's his name? Dorian. As like can we just grab, her, grab her whatever seat I can find at the table. I'm not picky. And you'll just see Taro just literally just like deadpan, like just <laughs> analyzing everyone's interaction, just sitting there just with his arms crossed, slouched back, just like this is a fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> it is. If I had popcorn and tickets, I would have paid for it. <laughs> But as you sit there enjoying your drinks and talking shit at each other. <laughs> Apparently. Not, not really talking shit, just, you know. She just snapped back. Cause she's so, just being honest. So, what do we owe the pleasure of your company for the second time this evening? <sighs> I guess, number one, the, the drinks are... A thank you as much as I can. I'll deduct it from your unpaid balance. <laughs> and you'll just see the slightest quirk of a grin on the side of his face. <laughs> it's obvious. But is he joking or is he not? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care one way or another. <laughs> hmm. It's obvious we have or at least some of the same goals in mind. Do we? Yes. And what goals might those be? Mm. How loud is it in here? Loud. It, it's pretty noisy. Okay. It, people would have to really be straining themselves to eavesdrop on this conversation. If that's what you're worried about. Like, yes. it's... There's a lot of noise. Between in the tavern and outside the tavern, there's a lot of noise. All right. So we can speak somewhat freely. Obviously to save the pillars. And to stop the demons from getting away, out again. It's an interesting an interesting goal for a keeper not all keepers are the same I can't cannot blame me for the faults of my predecessors I don't agree with much of what my predecessors have done hmm. but what they've done is made our jobs more difficult here ah, much more difficult than it would have been otherwise I see. He'll thaumaturgy his bucket again. <laughs> Is it like a cantrip? If, if, that thing yeah. is getting that, if that thing's getting that cold that quick, I have, I'm have i worried about you. Yeah. <laughs> got, got some, got some, got some tipsy problems. He likes to soak his feet in hot water. That's, that's, that's scalding water, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, it require it would require me to put my feet in the same bucket, and I don't think that's happening. But I would keep that bucket warm. Bro, bro you have me so worried if you do that. Because <laughs> Dorian would like, Dorian would literally I, murder Isaac. Isaac already knows not to get too close. Like he's still staring, but he's he's not getting too close, and he yeah. probably realizes that the bucket is getting hot and stuff. Because of the whole elemental stuff. Mm -hmm. But he also realizes the only way I can make that water hot is if I get close to his feet, and that's not going to happen. <laughs> so, what do you know? I don't know. It's going to be a quid pro quo kind of thing, or. Oh, okay. I'll start first. Uh, if I let them break the bubbles, I get to kill more fiends. So I'm pro bubble bu popping. 
Oh, uh, those no. things will wipe the floor with you. Especially Dark Queen. His gaze will crook from Kinley over to Lucy. Lucy's gonna look back. Yes, you heard me I mean, right. If you have a death wish, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty good way to go. As long as the all the... Well, save oh for God, one. As long as all the pillars stay up, we don't have to worry about her quite yet. <laughs> if I can kill one general, I can kill another right away. <laughs> I just have to get the first one. That's all that matters. Good luck getting the first one. <laughs> Good luck getting to Kalala. <laughs> Don't break that combo. No. C -c 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 combo burger. Dorian will then look back to Kinley. So I take it the Empire has. <laughs> he spits when he says Empire on the ground. Has <laughs> come to its senses. Oh no. No. Oh. There's still only a few select of us that. Are trying to make it a better place, and it's not an easy job. <sighs> no, well, it's not. But they do know the threat that, that is possess. You know, going well, on with some of it. They know what we can tell them. Can't really afford to tell them about the six and all that. Hmm. Well, I suppose one thing you can say about Elias is that he did institute quite a good mechanism for brainwashing the masses. Mm. Yeah, but <coughs> as I said, there, there are people who want to change things. Myself, my parents. It's not an easy road we travel down. So what are you here asking us for? Well... Help, obviously. There's no one else on this, <clears throat> on this island that... with any kind of knowledge outside of us. Hmm. Or that we can... Or that... Possibly... Does he live? Sorry, go ahead. Four to deal with. So as he lifts his cup up, you just hear him murmur into his L, I wonder whose fault that is. And he just <laughs> takes another drink. Wait, about what? You about can keep nobody else knowing anything. <laughs> you, you can keep espousing a blame. It doesn't solve the situation. Mm, no, but it explains it quite well, wouldn't you think? It doesn't help I, us finding the fifth kingdom. I'm aware of the situation and why it exists. I, do I like it? No. Do I wish I could change it? Yes. I can't go back in time and change things. And have Not you found the? Have you found the others? <sighs> we have a potential location on one of them, and we have yet to get to Fantalusia yet. Uh, Just yes. see of Arch's eyebrow. I see. Mm -hmm. What about you? What about me? Well, we told you part of our goal. There's more to your goal? Isn't it kind of a big scheme to go out, make sure the pillars are fine, find a way to restore parts of the... The parts that have been popped up, like you saw yourself going into uh, that weird constructs they've made in he, the temple. Florian's gonna chuckle. He think you have the means to restore a pillar. Just when I thought that your egos might have been quelled with her definition of your mission, and I nod toward Kinley. I don't know well, if we're able to restore the pillars or not. We have what, yet what, to get that what, information. What, what do we know of the stick that we had that 
Finnegan can had. Was it, can you tell us how it could rest? At least fix a pillar or all, yeah, we all we do know it has th that was be, known yeah. yeah yeah we know that there needs to be a certain ceremony made for the pillar to be restored there's a certain amount of charges for that just needs just has to have a, a single charge yeah. yep we we but we have possibilities. Well, untested. We have the means. Well, we believe we have the means. It has not been tested yet. We're still looking for. How would you say that? Confirmation of such things, but as you've seen and talked about yourself, quite a bit of information has been lost to time. Well, let me tell you what I know. You're in over your heads. Oh, trust me. <laughs> we know. I mean, I've talked about the one in the Druidic Alliance earlier, have I not? This is a shame. That tree was quite beautiful. We hopefully have a way to restore it. As I said, we still need to hear back from... Either way, it doesn't matter Somebody. if we're in over our heads. We have to fix the problem. And we're the only ones trying to do anything about it, so... Fair enough. Ask your questions. Well, I would ask. You seem to be quite knowledgeable in all of this, so what do you know? Fill in the blanks if you can. I... How do I want to put this? Um... <laughs> Somehow you got to bash Elias in this sentence. Otherwise, I'm going to fail it. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Your RP has failed for the evening if you can't. <laughs> I am a... Uh, observer of history. Well, no, I seek it out and... Yet attempt to preserve it in what ways that I can. And I'm actually surprised you know as much as you do, considering I've spent quite some time trying to find remnants of information that may have been left from the his mouth kind of twists in distaste decree of unified religion we have our contacts one could say I see they must be very knowledgeable contacts indeed hmm. and you are not wrong them. and you are not wrong that in some way my goals align with yours hmm. though I don't think we're exactly after the same things. As my new friend Taro here and I were discussing. However, it does seem that steps along the way do align. The only priority I have is to save this island. Stop the demons do whatever we can to fix this problem. And if I can change anything in the meantime, so be it. But so as you are attempting to sit down and, and have this conversation, try to work through your sort of barriers to entry with uh, cooperation, collaboration, teamwork, a familiar voice echoes into your head. In my head? Yes, in okay. your head. Which familiar Kinley. voice? Kinley! Kinley, holy shit! Was that another pillar? I counted eight quakes. Did you save it? The tree is looking like shit. <laughs> Sorry, reaching out from nowhere. 
Uh, I replied <laughs> back to him. It, 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 in my head, I'm not going to say it out loud. Um, pillar is still up. Well, I got 25 words, so pillar is still up. Um, badly mm -hmm. damaged. Currently under guard. Uh, met new general. Location of the pillar that was attacked. <laughs> can well, he, I knows, he knows where we, he, he knows where we're headed. So, can I wing a reply back? Kim? Yeah. You got plenty yeah. of sending scrolls. Yeah, you had, you had, no, it, you had a few. He, he has all them. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he he said he wanted to wing them back. Oh yeah, he can yeah. keep sending so, them back so, all the time he wants. So, so, so you get another general. You sure it's not Becky? Followed by um. It was the damn power plant, wasn't it? I'd be like, yes, it was. And I don't think Becky is a edgelord elf that carries a spear. <laughs> I don't think he would reply after that. <laughs> Kim's, Kim's heart hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All that artwork. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like an edgelord. He just comes out with pure edgelord. <laughs> Would, would Dorian would notice they're... the kind of... So, sorry, go ahead, Isaac. Uh, I was going to ask, would there would there be a noticeable pause between Kenley speaking with those scrolls? Well, since I, he I wasn't speaking, talking I'm out speaking loud? I in my head, so... Yeah, there would, there would be a lull in the conversation yeah. at the table as Kenley makes these exchanges in her head. Dorian Perfect. stares at her. Perfect. Uh... Before before Kenley talks out loud again, but after the exchange, because, you know, I don't want to be saying I'm voicing over everything. Uh, yeah. Before Kenley comes back, Isaac finally, uh, uh, I was about to say knocks on the table. He chimes in. He looks like he wants to say something. What is it, Isaac? There's something I want to ask Dorian. But I'm not exactly sure how to ask it. I don't want to offend him again. Hmm. He's saying this out loud, so Dorian would hear him, too. <coughs> Just... Well, Mr. Dorian, what say you? Can Isaac ask you his question? Of course. And he's still going to be staring directly at Kinley. Three of her little <laughs> paws. <laughs> Traveled the world for long, only about a couple of years with my brother. And now that he's no longer in the picture, I have to ask myself sometimes, what about, what, 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 do the people around me know and what can I learn from them? You're interesting. Granted, we didn't get off to the right start. Again, I know I apologized over tea, but I'm sorry for sniffing you like that. <laughs> but you did say something that intrigued me. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, let's see. Something about the bias intrinsic to your order of thuggery and domination overshadows the more logical conclusion that the systematic scrubbing and eradication of history and a religion not fitting into little Elias's egotistical and tyrannical hierarchy of glory and domination is why we're in the situation. It's ironic that the law of unified religion, forged with the foundation of his vexation for power, would prove to be <coughs> the very thing that could topple his great, glorious, and questionable legacy and with it, the rest of the world. The question that I have, though, <laughs> is who is Elias? The... He, will, he will actually look away from Kindly and look at you when you say that. <laughs> the he em... founded the Empire <laughs> that you live in. Never heard of him. Well, I do suppose time does 
heal all wounds eventually. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> here's here's how I justify this. <laughs> okay. Isaac never studied world history. It, or... You're fine. You don't have to get... <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you, you just I'm get just shocked I wanted, expressions I, from... I wanted everybody. a legitimate... Because I wanted to ask the question out of character, but then I realized if I don't know it, maybe Isaac doesn't know it. And if he doesn't know it, why should I get the answer out of character? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. To, to answer your question more thoroughly, Isaac, Elias was a... very charismatic person that was able to align forces to his side and convince others that his was a righteous path. But in doing so, in the wake of his righteous crusade, destroyed and betrayed many of his closest allies to form a brutish and thuggish imperial system and impose it on others in the name of bettering the world and securing others for their own safety yet many of those had never feared to their sa for their safety until he came knocking at their door <laughs> that sounds about right so basically he's a villain that wanted to be a good guy Air quote, boogeyman. You know, Isaac, we did get off on the wrong foot, but I think I'm starting to like you. I mean, you're kind of cool, too. Again, sorry for sniffing you all of a sudden, but... Well, I do smell good. To be fair, you did weird me out for a little bit. But you're kind of cool, too. Dog. Dog. <laughs> Where did you out? I could honestly you, say you, I uh, felt the same way. <laughs> you could you could just see kind of like almost a grimace being trying to be held back from what Isaac is saying to him, and he looks extremely awkward at this moment, and he's going to turn his head back to Kinley. So, anything interesting? Yes! <laughs> oh. Sorry. So that was, that was, as soon as you phrased it the way you did, I was just like, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it fits! <laughs> uh. now, I have a question. Did that card only affect the leadership that he pulled? In terms of thinking he's an actual criminal? Oh no, it made... It's a the real crime, thing. Real. The the crime is real, okay. like throughout. Well, I I, I mean, does do, do, do I we believe him to be a criminal as well? I sorry, oh. crisscross. Do, do, do we believe him to be a criminal as well? You uh, you have an understanding that the um, crime. Like, it was a ruse, but as far as you're concerned, the crime is now... Like, he has officially, within the Empire, committed heresy and treason. Like, we know that it... Like, do we know that... Okay, this is getting confusing. It's, it's a, there's okay. a difference between do, knowing that he committed a crime and believing that he that it was a crime. Yeah, yes. Yes. So I think that's, yeah. Does the card make us believe he's now a criminal and changing our perception of him, or do we just... He committed a crime under the laws that because I know. All... He because... committed a crime under the laws that you know, okay. and you understand him to be a criminal in that context, okay. but since you were there at the time that he drew the card, I allow for you to remain, like, you still have the understanding that he wasn't a criminal, and then he was. Okay. Um, you, you haven't had your minds twisted to where, like, burn him at the stake! Ah! Like, you okay. have context clues that other people don't have because yeah. they, they just got the flash from the card effect that oh my god he's betrayed us <laughs> uh so you you have it's sort of a 
loop-de-loop thing. Y you have the understanding that other people have convicted him of treason. Okay. You don't personally know him to be treasonous, if that makes more sense. Okay. Our memories have not been affected. Yes. All right, so okay. I just turn over to Lucy and go, Zard eh, just checked in. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he must have felt... Hmm. Wherever he is, he felt he the must... earthquakes. You must be quite freaked out. Did you reassure him? I let him know what's going on. Oh, that's good. I don't know much, how much he can do in hiding, you know, to help us out right now, but... All, all goods are, we st we failed to stop it, but some random strangers did it for us. Yep. <laughs> Didn't mention that at all. Uh, okay. I wonder why. <laughs> Want to save that sense of pride, Derek Hindley. <laughs> No, because there's more things. There were other things I mentioned in the message than you know. Oh, uh, it so. might not be a freaking hidden message. So, Kinley, was it? Yes. It you was. were asking your questions. Well, I think you were filling in the gaps of what we either don't know or misconstrued. You're on the right track. He sips his L. You're gonna tap your bucket of thumb. No. Got, got anything more than that? Be more specific. Maybe. What do you know of the six? Oh shit! Um, <laughs> I, you that... asked you to be more specific. There you go. That got really deep, real fast. <laughs> yeah. Um, any any particular one? Hmm. <laughs> All of As that. I stall for a message from the dungeon master. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, as this exchange is all going on, uh, Vanessa. Uh, Vanessa Kinley and Dorian notice that Isaac is very quietly making tea under the table. <laughs> <laughs> what is feet? Oh lord. That's he's a got, he's, he's got his alchemy jug out again and he's just trying to very quietly <laughs> pour just some tea. <laughs> pour a little tea like and oh. the, the cup comes up from under the table or like I'll ignore it. <laughs> There's no non-alcoholic beverage at the table that I know of, so... And I don't know the drinking age in here, but I'm assuming it's not 17. Well, I could let you know during a mayhem. If you want one, we can get you one. It's a fantasy, oh, world, the, the drinking, <laughs> it's a fantasy world. The drinking age is probably negotiable. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, Kenley, your response to this question was all of them? All of them. The six were martyrs to their own cause. And probably the greatest force this world has ever seen. But found defeat even in their victory. Sacrifice all of your power to make a prison. You're gonna, you're gonna hear. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Oh. When you say that, his eyes lock onto you. And where did you hear that from? Like I said, we aren't completely ignorant. <laughs> what can you tell us about their angels? And his head creeps back over to Lucy. God damn it, you challenge her into like fucking asking the right questions. So Show Lucy... me all the cards! Yep. <laughs> She's getting reactions out of the guy. Yeah. 
<laughs> not sure if they're good know. reactions or not, but... That's what I was gonna say. She doesn't know if they're good or bad, but... They're reactions. <sighs> Huh? Like you, you guys talking about the six and whatnot, I, I'd be like leaning over to you, like, is this that weird religious thing that's going on over in the Druidic Alliance? Yes. Who are you asking that of? Uh, to Dorian. Nope. Okay. Oh. Not to the random strangers that came and sat at our table. No. <laughs> there, there's, there's still a team at the moment. <laughs> I, I guess what? I would probably know about that since I've been traveling the island, so you just get, like, a little slight nod as he stares at Lucy. Got it. So, uh, Toro, in his head's going, got it. They're a bunch of hippies. Fuck. <laughs> yes, Lucy totally looks like a hippie with her golden armor. <laughs> and there, can, <laughs> there can always be rich hippies, don't you worry. Mm -hmm. That, that, that kind of, that's an oxymoron. <laughs> And, and what do you know of angels? Well, have you seen me? I have, and you are no angel. I will. <laughs> You're cutting. Pop the wings. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Pop them in the middle of the do park. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, <laughs> it's going to turn all the heads towards them if she does that. Yeah. That will, that's, a, that's the least that will happen. Is your hood down or up? She doesn't wear the hood anymore. She so hasn't would... since the well in Soga? No, not Soga. The other one. So would I clearly be able to see that she's an Azamir? Yeah. You see her glowing frickin' eyes. silver eyes and her ageless face. A... Like, Taro knows she's... Has yeah. <laughs> And she clearly is a celestial. <laughs> Perhaps one of your ancestors, yes. Oh, yes, my <laughs> my parents are clearly mortal. Clearly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yes, you haven't met them yet. Clearly. Not, not looking to <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Now he pings his bucket and thaumaturgies his water. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've not quite answered my question. I know a little. Hmm. Fair enough. I I'm going to roll it, Kim. I, I saw the look. I'm going to roll it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <sighs> Channel from around the table. Oh, Want me to shit. help you keep that warm? I've been drinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to roll something? Insight. insight. Okay, rolling insight. It's contested. Oh, that's a <laughs> fuck! I got fucked. Uh, yeah. I guess we all would be since we're all talking. I got to yeah, see. Everybody's... I got the great rolls earlier. All my great rolls are done. Wow. <laughs> Roll twenty fucking hates my ass tonight. That's sure. hilarious. Isaac so, gets it. Isaac gets a a hint of like maybe Dorian's holding some cards close to his chest still, which after the last couple of insights that you've had success against him doesn't seem out of character for him. It's in character for him to be out of character. Um, <laughs> it's sort of so you, but you get the feeling that he's definitely holding back, but. To what extent you can't tell it's it's close enough of a check that you're like eh, it might be no she's just gonna... next, but <laughs> as he pops his head out from under the table just so you know you got that weird feeling coming from you again just how gotta point it out how like close that, are huh? you from under the table to him <laughs> i would assume that i'm close i'm close enough to not be too close to him Okay, I'm just worried like he popped like... up in between his legs kind of thing right <laughs> now. No, 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 no. Hey. Oh, I, would, I would have said that. No, no. You're, you're, you're where getting is... that weird feeling. Sorry. Go ahead. You're getting that weird feeling again, Dorian. Also, do you want help keeping that thing warm? You keep tapping it so often. No, I'm perfectly capable of doing so myself. You're just going to completely disregard your other statement? And he's going to look over toward... Where is Vanessa sitting? 
in regards to me? Or is she even sitting? She's standing she's, the whole time. Yep, she's probably been standing the whole time. Well, to your answer, Lucy would reply, that's fair enough. I don't know much about them. I know what I do. That's about it. Kind of hmm. that-ish for a table arrangement. Okay. Ooh. So, so you kind of uh, <laughs> see uh, Dorian stare at Vanessa for a moment mm -hmm. then look back to Kinley so <laughs> I would be quite interested in knowing where your non-ignorance comes from considering I have spent quite many fortunes looking for such information myself hmm well, if he sticks around, he's gonna find it out for himself. That's a that's, that's Wait, a did nice you say that out loud? I, I don't, she yeah. mumbles it to Kim. Okay. I, 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 like, okay, mumble I back to you. I don't even know if he believe it. Probably go, like, Vanessa over there. You, you, you wanna tell him? It's more your thing, not mine. What? You taught, saying that to Lucy? Yes. You're the one uh... dropping everything. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know. Well, she's the whole religious one. To me, it's like, it's still kind of weird for, for Kinley, so. Yeah. You're just mad the book the book angel's not out yet. <laughs> the book angel? The one that takes care of the library. <laughs> so he's just kind of looking between you two as you're kind of like, turned your heads to each other and you're like whispering back and forth to each other. <laughs> His eyebrow just arched. Well, I can't really say much, but all I do know is if you stick around, you're bound to learn some things, right? Like that second. stupid dream we had. Uh, and Isaac spills it. That yes. means nothing. You, anybody can have a s s weird dream. That dropped nothing. Yeah. I yeah, know. I'm but it was saying. super weird. I mean, we were all in it together. Like, literally. Mm -hmm. And he just sips his tea. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like that. Alright, sorry. Where were we? Was he huh? being Isaac? Isaac no, talked no. about them all being in a dream. Yep, shared dream. Uh we were all there together. Didn't drop anything else, but we had a dream together. That's it. Yeah. Oh. He was like, like the dream we had together. <laughs> a dream. Yes. So you got all your information from a dream. Mm, not really. Without Tec knowing anything else. I mean, te technically, yeah. Hey, you weren't there. Shush. You let me explain that. <laughs> Well, hey, Isaac's talking about really. the dream he had. He didn't know about any other dreams you had. Yeah. So, Lucy's gonna give you a... <sighs> Not really. A bit more complex than that. Well, explain it to me. Oh, that's a juicy piece of info, though. Really? He went to sleep, tab. we dreamed? Yeah. That would cost his entire tab. <laughs> he might be willing to trade it for that information, honestly. The tab. Meanwhile, meanwhile Tor T Tara wants his full investment. Thank you. <laughs> well, that information is a bit risky to share. As it involves... You just told me you know of the Divine Six, you know of the Pillars, you know of Demon Generals, yet mm -hmm. talking about the dream is too risky. There's You're just going to give me a the... look like, what kind of bullshit are you trying to feed me? <laughs> oh, all Lucy Sice kind of glances at Kinley for I'd be, like I'd confirmation. Like, I mean, this conversation is very lopsided, I mean... We've told you quite a lot. How can, I, how can I fill in the gaps if I don't know where the gaps are? 
Mm. Wow, sip of tea. <laughs> how, how does it feel, Dorian, to have all the power? Fuck's sake. Do I? Do I not? Uh. Do I? Do I not? Do I? Do I not? She, she kind of thinks for a bit. You might as well just you know, tell him. I'm not sorry. <laughs> not one bit. I was waiting for a moment to just, Isaac to just be Isaac. Literally, he had a bat. He was on a bath with Becky. What do you think was going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> He's not an evil dude, but he tells the truth way easily. Yeah. That reminds me yeah. of someone that, that Finnegan didn't trust. <laughs> so. Yeah, how'd that work out? <laughs> oh, Finnegan's dead. For now. <laughs> well, he's quote, quote, dead. <laughs> yeah. There's always a chance. He's on vacation. Oh, is it? He's on a permanent vacation currently. So, so, so looking from Kinley back to Lucy, as Kinley said, uh, you might as well tell him. Eyebrow arched. This, this is this is your thing, Lucy. I I still don't really know what to what make do. What do you mean? This is my thing. Oh, it's for the religious side, isn't it? It's because I'm a paladin. <laughs> Hmm. You know the six. You possibly know about their angels. Hmm. Well, some of them are very much out and about and attempting to fix the ma the mess that happened. And Zar, it or Zar, uh, <laughs> Dorian, you're just gonna hear. Whoosh as the bucket of water spills onto the floor and he abruptly stands. <laughs> right, well, uh, it's been very good knowing you all. Um, have fun with that. And he's going to start making a beeline for the door. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you can't just walk away he's like, with that kind oh. of a... He's like, oh, shit, I'm out. <laughs> Walk away. Oh, we touched a nerve, did we? He's not going to respond. If you, you're going to have to stop him if you want to stop him. Lucy would get up and try to stop him. Seeing as he's... If you want to drink some. I've only got one way to stop it, and I don't want to get the attention of the entire bar, so... <laughs> 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 Which, what you could do is not shoot him, but just shoot into like. That's I don't what I would know, do, but still get the entire a stranger. The bar. <laughs> Good grief! Well, different would... responses ready for that, and I rolled a nat one, so he's like fight or flight. He's flighting. Mm -hmm. I have, I have, I have an idea, but uh. no. Lucy's going up and gotta try to intercept them as he's leaving. No, I had, I had a, back. I had a. Let, let me. I'm gonna tell it to Kim. Cause all right, he he left his shoes behind as well. He's like <laughs> walking were, out. Yeah, yeah. He, he's barefoot. like walking out barefoot. You know the cuffs of his pants wet from being in the bucket <laughs> of water, just kind of like <laughs> on his way toward the door. Mm -hmm. So do I wait for? Well, let's see what Lolly to decide if he's gonna do the thing. Maybe. Well, what am I doing? See, you, you Is that possible, do Kim? Um, I'm gonna say yes, it would be possible. Let me just double check something for you real quick. Okay. Uh... Cause I just want to know if Luckily I don't. We haven't had a long answer. rest, and I couldn't just dimension door out. Yeah. <laughs> oh! so, um... Hey, guess what? Guess what we do have though. Well, you have. Tick. You have it. <laughs> I, spend, he he knows I have it. Yeah. Spend your key point, and then nope. yes, you can. Um, you can do that. All right. <laughs> oh I God. Spend key, I spend the key <laughs> point to basically make make Dorian's feet very cold and numb. 
basically the freeze them kind of in place. Not actual yeah. frozen feet, but you know, basically He's you, stuck don't, in you place. don't want to keep you don't want to move. <laughs> <laughs> then with, with his hurried pace, I would say if his feet just totally went numb, like sleepy leg syndrome, he he would just probably trip over his feet. And, ah! <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's the the thin <laughs> bit of like residual moisture from soaking yeah. in the tub. Ice is over into like a layer of frost, and your feet instantly get that sharp, cold like of oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Like you just you stepped onto an ice. Cube, essentially. Um. <laughs> and they would go numb from the cold, and yeah, he just like trips and falls. Ah! <laughs> and you can go collect him, Lucy. Ah, uh, Lucy's gonna go catch the fallen. <laughs> uh, calmly sips his tea afterwards. Look, I'm sorry if I've said something quite that both quite shocking, but. Oh, no, it's perfectly fine. I've just got things I've got to do. And his staff is going to kind of wrap onto the floor a little bit. And an invisible hand is going to start poking Lucy in the eye. Mage hand. Oh, that is... <laughs> oh, I that's mean. I, I, could, I could just imagine, like, the three stooges poke. <laughs> yeah, and as soon as she, like, reaches up toward one eye, it'll poke the other. Oh, my God. Back and forth. Good. Um, from this instant reaction and change of attitude, I guess Tar is gonna like casually just pick up his shoes, put them in his bag, and proceed to stand up. Depending on what happens, might be what Tar does in response. Look, uh, look, I, I'm completely <clears throat> sympathetic. Poke again. <laughs> You're right. I'm completely She's gonna try to grab you. Okay. Okay. This... Just grab you like <laughs> stop. I just we just want to talk. Look, look, I'm completely Go ahead and roll your thing. I'll roll mine when you're done. But it's yeah, like what do I roll? Is... Athletics? Contested yeah. athletics. He, yeah. He, he's he, he's like Saying this as this is going on, it's just like, I'm completely sympathetic 19. to your calls. And like I said, as our, you know, goals do tend to align at certain points, um, I, no, no, I, no, I, me. <laughs> I'm not exactly comfortable with some of your associates. Roll your athletics to see if I grapple you or not. Uh, I will roll acrobatics. You get the grapple E gets to pick. <laughs> yep. What, oh. what they want to use to defend with. He's trying to slip out instead of contest. Shit. Nope. I grab you. Urgh. Like, just, come on, just You're, chill out for a minute. Please, please <laughs> stop invading my personal space and the mage hand finger will go up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> please stop inviting, invading my personal space and pissing me off. That's, we were I... talking calmly. You freaked out. I apologize for my associate bringing up the associate which you asked about but she's gonna get you up on your feet and just turn you towards the table like come on we go back when you bring him back yes well, she to, is uh, gonna bring a, him back that seemed to hit a nerve <laughs> kenley stop it only being honest, you said that you mentioned the angel that he booked out of here like his ass was on fire. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this opportune time to target ah! just step in and say, Dorian, you seem like you're very tired. You could probably use some rest. I could definitely use a rest, but See, just they're being me. quite insistent, and the finger just pushes as hard as it can up her nose. Which isn't a lot because it's just a cantrip mage hand. Yeah. But it's definitely trying to tickle your brain and like make you sneeze or something. But um She's gonna sneeze on you if you don't stop. <laughs> oh, do I have to roll if it makes her sneeze or not? No, just for the fun it, of it. it. <laughs> could it you call the sneeze? sneeze? You could just make that judgment call if you think it if you think a mage hand finger up your nose would make you sneeze, then it does. I don't know. <laughs> that might hurt when you sneeze, you might squeeze them tighter. 
<laughs> Look, all I know, I got... all I, <sighs> all you know, <laughs> okay, or all okay. you want to say. I'm, I'm, gonna <laughs> I'm gonna rephrase that. All I remember is that if they're getting out, things are a lot worse than I thought they were. Yes, and you were able to save one pillar. We need your help. Do with it whatever you want, but you know what happens when they all go down. It's the conversation. Isaac puts an apology tea onto the table for Dorian. <laughs> <laughs> it's either the angel or the queen. Which would you rather? Neither. Well, you're not going to have much of a choice one. if this keeps on going the way it is. It's one or the other, or both. Fine. I will help you. You just keep your, you just keep your winged goody two shoes away from me. Are you talking about me or her? Are you a winged he's, goody two shoes? He's talking directly at you right now, Lucy. <laughs> no, but like, does he talk about the angel angel or about Lucy? <laughs> Have you showed your wings yet? Oh, she has not. But then you're not the winged that. creature. <laughs> but she does said that out loud. And he, he... You keep your associates away from me and I'll help you. Mm, I can try. We don't exactly control them. Yeah. Well, of course you don't. But well, if you, you but if they, but if they're feeding, but if they're feeding you information, I'm sure you can feed it right back to them. Then he smirks a little bit. Have you not figured that out yet? Hmm. You have to be part of the face to do that. Tilts his head a little bit. Oh, off! Oh, no, you really don't. <laughs> do you? Hmm. <laughs> No, we were, we've all been there. Just, no. Been where? You know you don't have to be part of the faith. No, this is just... <laughs> did you say... I don't know if she answered the character out of character when she said that. No. Yeah, yeah, sometimes I, I have issues pulling the... But uh, I think it was in character. I, I literally don't remember no, what was said. It has nothing to do with faith. Has everything to do. How can you know so much yet know so little? Mm, well, the one that did know much more isn't there right now. For well, obvious the reasons. The one that knows more <laughs> is working on restoring the religion as we speak. So. Mm -hmm. No one tells me much anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look. He's like obviously agitated at this point. Like, yeah, he, Lucy. He's, he, he, he's not smug or playing around anymore. He's just like very <laughs> agitated. Look, I will help you, but I'm not going to do it for free. Oh, I thought as much. I, I you would, pay I, me like any other job, and you keep your friends away from me, and I'll help you. Mm. Sounds like a deal. I, I, Lucy looks to Kinley. I, I would think not becoming slaves or murdered by the Demon Queen would be payment enough. Not becoming slaves to the Demon Queen doesn't pay the bills. Show him that one, Kenley. Or pay for spell components or other pieces of equipment that I may need in service of aiding you. Oh, he's uh, talking about the if bad necessities. If you're helping us, obviously things could get taken care of. No, I don't want things taken care of. I want paid for my services. Hmm. 
gonna be oh, we, stingy right now. Are we <laughs> are we negotiating our 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 fees? Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Fuck. So so my normal charges to towns are, and I'll just start listing out my jobs that I normally do. And well, how generally, much I generally I charge a certain amount per level of spell cast. Can I at least get some armor or something? Yes, and I demand that he has armor too. He's you're your own teammate. He doesn't even... yeah, yes, you're telling us things will get taken care of and your own teammate doesn't have armor. He's a monkey. Are you saying just because you're a monk you can't wear armor? That's just he very weird. <laughs> like he, he doesn't have those shin guards to nothing. He doesn't have those boots yet, so... Uh, you're not gonna that's get not the boots armor, for though. a long while. <laughs> Meanwhile, that with one Melody. right there looks like she was just recently equipped with the best and finest, and he points at Vanessa. <laughs> Are you talking about that cool the looking bow the thing? The only thing fine on there would be the bow. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's gonna turn his head <laughs> toward you. Uh, turn, <laughs> no, I will never talk about that. Oh. <laughs> Her other assets. <laughs> Yes, the drugs, obviously. I knew it. <laughs> okay. I... Well, yes, this whole all thing that... is yes. right there. It's just a whole, like, talking back and forth and just, like, total disarray from the normal conversation, which was kind of what he was going for. <laughs> well, we'll have to see about that payment. If you're really quite adamant about it, instead of just us just buying the things you need. Well, I need a room for tonight, and not at an Elias. <laughs> he spits on the ground. Well, then there's... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, are you... Ouch. In... How's that feel, Kim? How's that feel? <laughs> Specially customized in, and he just spit on it. And, and, and the sad part is, that part is entirely her fault. <laughs> yeah. I did that. I did that. Yeah, you did that. Um, but gonna, as this conversation is going on and you start, like, haggling about rates and nonsense, yeah. uh, he, there's a general sort of understanding hey. that you're on the same page. You're just Nick, sort of making things difficult for the sake of making it difficult for the couple of keepers at the table, right? Is that a fair fair assumption of what you're putting across? Well, they, th there is that, plus the added information that apparently they've been hanging out with mm -hmm. angels, which makes Dorian very uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, that's understandable. He's just trying to get his... He's trying to, trying to do the same thing he tried to do in the dream. Just get a little something for his time. Yeah. <laughs> Always looking if he for can't a little... Get, if, he can, if he can't get his rideable dog... Medical, his rideable <laughs> mechanical dog, then at least he can try to get those boots and those shin th and those shin guards. Mm -hmm. You know what you um, should have done? If you wanted those dogs to all be down here to do that, you should have let the bubble down. No. <laughs> Just saying. Technically. No. Um, but uh. what I'm going to say is as this conversation because it's get, getting late here. Um, it is. Yeah. As this conversation is sort of carrying on and you start negotiating for prices and things like that kinley you hear the voice of your grandfather oh, in shit. your head oh. uh and we're gonna stop right there and we'll pick up <gasps> next, next week oh. with what that sending is and what you respond to it with and then we'll can you can finish out your <laughs> bit of table banter and then have a night's sleep and carry on from there well, send me what he says before next game so i can plan that so you one. can prepare yeah. a response yeah, yeah. <laughs> that'll be fine um but that's that's where we're gonna hang this episode all right uh so Good game ladies and gentlemen thank yeah. you to my players as always and to everyone who has stuck around all the way to the end with us we will see you back here next week but in the meantime do check out some of the other campaigns that we have streaming we've got a a Wednesday night game, maybe, uh, may <laughs> usually, give or take, um, as well as a Friday night, Saturday night, 
Sunday morning, which is also set in the same campaign setting, and uh, Sunday night, and then we're back around to Tuesday here with Vow of the Keepers. That's right. So do check out our schedule and some of the other cool games that we have people running on the channel, and we'll see you next week. See y'all next week. I don't know if we're rating anybody. I already yep. rated. Okay. As soon as she said see you next week, I dropped it. Michael. Eee!